Pulsion Games, they're one of the studios that we haven't heard from yet. We didn't hear from them last summer, so we'll see if we hear anything from them today. Destin, take the baton. Who else is, is out there in Xbox land? Yeah, we got Double Fine working on Psychonauts 2. The Initiative, of course, working on Perfect Dark. Id Software, we don't know what they're working on, but they have, you know, Doom Eternal in Exile. They have two Unreal 5 RPGs that they have been teasing. And Machine Games, Indiana Jones. Miranda, mm. what else? All right, then we have Mojang, of course, is working on Minecraft and maybe something else. They do do some side projects every now and then, but for sure and forever Minecraft. <laughs> then we have Ninja Theory and their currently known projects, of course, is Hellblade 2. Very excited about that. Uh, Project Mara and the Insight Project. So they've got a lot on their plate right now as well. Uh, then we also have Obsidian Entertainment and we currently know that they are unavowed and of course ongoing with Grounded. And then we have Playground Games, which we know they're working on with Fable, finally confirmed. Uh, and then of course they're rumored to have another Forza Horizon on their way. So we will see what happens there. Um, and then Cam, you wanna round us out with the, the last few, which is, there's so many, there's so many. Yeah, so we got Rare working on Everwild, uh, along with uh, Sea of Thieves, of course. We got Tango Gameworks working on Ghostwire Tokyo. Turn 10 working on the next Forza Motorsport. Undead Labs with State of the K3. And Zenimax Online Studios with The Elder Scrolls Online. So yeah, I mean, there's your quick recap. Even that took us like two minutes just to get through <laughs> all the studios of the, of the known projects or the projects we're reasonably confident about heading into this showcase. So there is a lot to get to. Now, let's talk about the games, of course, that we're most excited to see. And uh, Destin, I think it's got to start with Halo Infinite. I mean, that's we know it's gonna be there. It's just a question of in what capacity, what are they gonna show? Are we hopeful? I would assume we'll get a release date. Destin, what do you want to see? What do you need to see from 343 and Halo Infinite today? Yeah, so I would absolutely love to see a release date, Ryan. But I think what they really need to do is they need to come out and show us how they've improved the engine, because that's sort of the question left looming on everybody's mind. So if they come out and they show what the engine can do, just remind people that, hey, here is the slip space engine in action. This is what they showed when they revealed it, actually. And you can see it can do a lot. It's a very, very gorgeous piece of uh, tech that they can utilize to really, really make Halo pop. So once they address that though, I really hope they go into Halo multiplayer. I would love to just know more about what they're going to do with Halo. How are they going to be changing multiplayer? They've been teasing a new mode, but we don't really know much about it. So I would love to see that. Miranda? Uh, I wanna see the chief. Get the glory he deserves. This is Master Chief. <laughs> this is a new console. They need to come out and say, this is what we've been doing. Exactly as Destin said, they need to show off what work they've put in. Um, I think they have a great foundation. I'm really excited about what they showed us before, but now they need to come back and say, okay, we spent all this time and here are the big changes. Cam, what do you want to see from Halo today? I, I need to see more of the campaign. I need to see more of the single player. I think that that's what 343 and Xbox need to do to sell this game. I'm not worried about the multiplayer. Halo has never had a like bad multiplayer. So mm -hmm. I'm not I'm even Halo 5, you know, didn't have a great campaign, but the multiplayer, you could argue is the best in the series so far. Yes. Uh so that's that's what I want to see. I want to see, hey, this is why you need to be excited for the campaign because when it comes to new Halo games, the campaign is what sells the game, I think for a lot of people. Like it, it is one of those uh first person shooters where you expect a high quality campaign alongside its multiplayer. That's what they need to show. That's what they need to show. Like this is, this is Halo Infinite. Well said, my friend, well said. I've got two words for what I wanna see. Blood Gulch, bring it back. <laughs> it's in Fortnite. So that's, to me, that's a good <laughs> sign. We'll see. All right, uh, now the other big ace up Microsoft's sleeve is uh, an acquisition that of course being Bethesda and specifically the new Todd Howard and team game, Starfield. Miranda, will we see it today? Is it the closer? Is it the opener? Do they just come out punching with that? How much of it do you think we'll see? We have to see it, right? Like we have to have some sort of update. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like was going to do their own conference this year. Starfield would be front and center. They can't show all of those maybe was forever away. So Starfield has to be it. Um, I know with the pandemic, a lot of things have been delayed and production's been slowed down. Very understandable, but I could absolutely Boom. see them saying, hey, we're Bethesda, we like to do this thing where we show our games and then they're out. 
And so that's what I'm hoping with Starfield. But I'm also hoping that it is not. All right, so we still got like 20 minutes left until this actual thing starts. Because at the end, I want them to have another surprise for us. I don't want it to be Starfield. I want more. (laughs) I like it. Cam, how about you? What's popping, Lysha? How you being? What's good? What's good? What's good? Yeah, I agree completely. I he ho was popping. Was good. Was good. Hold on, hold on. Let me check my thing. Seen as a new RPG that won't have something that will stand out compared to Fallout and Elder Scrolls that isn't just oh, chat. Shake my hand. A Bethesda. Shake my hand. Firm hand shake. In space. I want. I want to see firm hand shake. World building. I want to see like I want to be able to get a trailer and get something where I can pick out pieces boom. and theorize on what this world is about, what the society, I like bet. The, the societal things behind it doing homework uh, what we can expect from what's well, good right now i think we have square enix and uh, xbox gameplay. today so today might to be I filled know. a little I more heavy hitters than yesterday so i'm excited today. for that um but i hope so oh we could do stands out as a unique i love RPG doing this experience uh, hold up so yeah we have xbox RPGs and square enix we're in in two hours um what we could do in the meantime the very first officially announced xbox series x game we could either watch two you think today's Moon, today's where's the clever title? From that one? I, think I woke up like literally um, like I don't know three minutes ago. I'm tired of Star Street. I absolutely think we see gameplay today. They Not to mention this VOD's going to be nuked. Not like it matters. On that one. Bringing it back to Hellblade 2. Man, they're working Moon, do my Unreal typography Engine homework. 5. They've been doing all, all right, but I need payment. Pieces. The lead actress, Jurgens, has been doing all this. Did you go to uh, stuff where she, she shows like I got how much work sleep. she has been putting into Went that to bed character. six-ish. And I would love to see anything else, like even a teaser Not of six-ish. how much work that they put into help. Four or five-ish. I would adore seeing. Woke up the game already literally like minutes before it started. So footage. I think it came in pretty in, clutch. Uh, Unreal Engine 5. I'll I pay you in Coochie. They might also talk about uh, Project Mara, which is another another thing that they're working on. Miranda, in about 30 seconds, how about you? Where's your hype level for What we could possibly do. Oh, my gosh. I love trick. doing this when E3 starts up. I Everyone love. Watching? Hold up. Me. I love watching bad. Hold up. Hold up. Bad E3 moments. Bro, this shit always makes me. Oh, I love this shit. I love sh- I love this shit. I love wow. watching this shit. Great suits. I mean, I got to ask is two fully trained medical professionals. How does one run a hospital in Two Point Hospital? <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh, is the stethoscope eliminating your microphone? Oh, you know what? We do this every year. Come here. Talk to me. Okay. How do we run? Hello. So two We're popping too much. So how you been? About designing. That's and, too much. Uh, so building your own hospital. It's yeah. In, uh... Talk directly at my tie. Talk, yeah. This is, you said don't talk there. Yeah. I got to look out here. You said. Yeah. No. Just look so, straight at the ground. There's a little customization. <laughs> there's. Is this not working at all? Yeah, it's great. Uh, is this working at all? I'll carry on, carry on then. Uh, yeah, look. Bruh, E3 used to be, E3 used to be different. Welcome to Ubisoft Live at E3. Woo. I'm Hanny. This is I'm Zach. Zach. You're Hanny. Uh, we're we're Zanny and Hack. Um, <laughs> One, let's find out what's cooking. Justin, Kim, what's up? How are you guys hey. doing over there? How are you guys, hey guys. doing? Woo. Leon Madison, are you guys back there? Can you Woo. hear us? Woo. Woo. There they are. How are you guys doing over there? Fair enough. And the golden ticket is back. Bigger than ever before. Oh. We're having a great time. I'm Madison, oh, and we're here in the fan zone where everyone has a chance to win the best. <laughs> this is Ubisoft live at E3. Woo! You know, a lot of people are like, last year's E3 was like, well, was that was that like just a linear level? No, like that's our Miss that was our E3? Manhattan. That's our New York City. Oh, and it just happens to be on like, did a did real base for a mission. But in between did did like, things like you saw in the raft or we showed that back at last E3, you can just Swing around yeah, New York City right and have here. fun. <laughs> Hello. Let's, let's go to that footage because we, we have it running here on the uh, the main monitor. We'll go to it in just a second. This is the beauty of the live environment. Yeah. This. Oh God. Oh, this, is, this is great. I got my own little TV. This is perfect. Yeah. What missed so far? It hasn't started yet. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was their just dance for Ubisoft. Yeah, this is just dance here. 
Right now, we're just watching like bad moments in E3. We're just watching some bad moments in E3 before it starts. What's poppin' Martyr? How you been? What's good? What's good? Go! We got a couple minutes. Right now, I just want to watch some bad E3 moments. Me doing your beginning of the stream. He's like, oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was aggressive. Cheers, Sean. Mountain Eats are looking tasty there, and I can't believe they named a game after my favorite weekend activity. Indies are at the heart of PC gaming, and next up is a brand new pumpkin. Wait, game. wait, hello? Hello? Yeah, next up is a at the heart of there, and I nailed it. Cheers, Sean. Man Eater looking tasty there, and I can't Man Eater! Ah! I can't believe they named a game after my favorite weekend activity. Indies are at the heart of the PC game. <laughs> and next up is a brand new publisher revealing three games for the very first time, releasing one of them, Behave Yourselves Audience, today. So let's take a look. Exploring their darkest thoughts and most intimate secrets. In Transference, with Transference, we're bringing a... No. <laughs> wait! Wait! With Transference, we're bringing... <laughs> A first person <laughs> exploration game into a chilling new dimension. Are you ready? Yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo. All right, I would say press <laughs> the button. And then countdown. Dun dun dun. The anticipation is real. Three, two, one, draw. Right. And the winner is. Winner, All right. Winner, winner, winner. Here you go, golden ticket, ultimate gaming backpack. Woo! Let's go, <laughs> let's go. Enjoy the conference. The long awaited game is out tomorrow and lets you build your Hello? own dinosaur stuffed tourist trap. What could possibly go wrong? Unleash the gold bloom. So our producer at Coldwood. Ah, HB. And we're going to try to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about, about how you can play the game in, in co-op with yourself, essentially. Co-op with yourself. Who plays co-op with themselves? Anyone? <laughs> so this wasn't prepared. I there we are. here in the theater and on, ho at, on online at home. All right, everybody, everybody at home, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. we're just gonna assume that they're ready. How you been, what's good, what's good? Then let's start the show. Let's do it, let's do it. Well, thank you so much, Dylan. I Females are abusers of pure-hearted church-going men. There it is. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's a little bit about the Palladium. And now, let's head inside and check out the show. Fun zone. Fun zone. She told me to rap. I was rapping. We're still going. We're not rapping. We're still. I was lied to. Welcome Interesting. To the fun zone, my friend. Hold on, I'm checking around. Checking around. We got 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Are we watching Watch Mojo? Hold on. Top 10 worst. I'm a lonely goomba. So, a new Nintendo. Now, I want to. There's, there's one in particular I'm looking for. There's one in worthy moments in modern media, and it's no wonder, really. Gaming. I want to find some. There's some really bad moments in E3. Gremlins and dancing dad levels of embarrassment all year round, not just at E3 itself. Shout outs, for example, to the Xbox One reveal in May 2013, Dominate. and this year's Borderlands 3 live stream. That what are you guys hoping for? Fable? I don't want to see Fable. In which Randy Pitchford counted Halo release day? out loud twice, and then the Microsoft film and TV app. Chopping How about best moments? Why the negativity? Because I thrive off negativity. <laughs> Complete with Windows taskbar and an autoplay notification bubble. 
truly painful viewing. So it's no wonder then that when all the Imagine developers having friends could get not be together me. for a big video game knees up at E3, that so much stuff goes wrong every single year. With technology mishaps, failed attempts at being cool, groovy, and hip hop happening, like like me, and presenters coming across like Fable a and Halo in a school talent show, you'd be forgiven. Well, let's for see, because they got a the bunch of studios. So who knows cursed. what they have? But are you ready to find out? God, just she's so how fun. Cursed. I'm Peter Jab from Triple Jump, Shake and here in. are the 10 most cringeworthy E3 moments of all time. Number 10, Battlefield 4, E3 2013. We start gentle with something only a little bit awkward that wasn't really the fault of the poor <laughs> presenter, EA's Patrick Soderlund. Xbox's 2013 Big O, you're going to be wishing needed to till be the end of time. As the aforementioned I'm Xbox One reveal that had taken place just weeks earlier had been chock full of Niga, shake my hand. features and laughable brags. So me and my friends were going uh, out of the way when you get off close Idle Marvel oh, games wow, and we agreed like that a too? game for Arazi. Incredible. So as Xbox took to the I E3 don't stage, think they were that? really hoping to put on a kick But that would be fire. Unfortunately for the Battlefield like 4 team, though, at game. least one gremlin had managed to slip through you know? the net. After a brief introduction I feel like by the they would team, have to reintroduce a X-Men into, like, run. the MCU but for that to work. No, uh, no they just do it. A few members of the audience, clearly thirsty for blood, began booing the very moment they realized something was amiss. A bit harsh. What followed was the very essence of awkward fumbling, as Soderlund desperately tried to establish when or even if the problem so. might be fixed and what when you ask me something i didn't say all anything. the while accompanied by a yo what i heckles, miss including a um you missed nothing it didn't start yet nine minutes it's starting a very audible ha 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 how old are you after assuring us in a tone reminiscent of erectile dysfunction we're just watching bad moments happen, of e3 promise, before we get started and we just kind of vibe it right I'm now fine his unenviable floundering was finally punctuated by i guess you may see it later and then the strangely panicked sound all right i don't want him to explain what we're seeing i want to actually see the moment oh this might be good this might be good. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you, You're so happy to have you today. So what what have you brought oh, with you? Well, what did you bring? <laughs> this is a life-size replica. A uh, one of the weapons from this game. Wow. wow. Cool. I'm sure you love it. <laughs> I brought one for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Woo. So so Odin, how you been? Was going good. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> ah, yes. These are a little bit different from the weapons you see in Ghost Recon. <laughs> yeah, spit. very different weapons for cute. very different worlds. Uh, <laughs> this one is, I think, very effective in the, the world of Myron Rabbit. So, should do well. Interesting. Not awkward at all. <laughs> the camera guy. <laughs> Why did he zoom in on this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> players from Ooh. all over the world, welcome to Los Angeles. Welcome to E3 2017. I need games like this for Xbox. Crash Bandicoot is finally coming back <laughs> end of this month. We're going to get a chance to see him. So let's take a look at a new trailer from the Insane Trilogy. Check it out. Good trailer. Good trailer. Good trailer. Oh, we're on camera right now. <laughs> right, well, we'll keep, hey, I'm we're gonna, doing this live, right? I'm going to keep shuffling That's my what papers. it's all about. Exactly. We wanted to make sure it was an authentic strip club experience, so the whole editorial team. Did I miss a game? Did I miss a game? The game has been flying around the world, going to every strip club. They keep sending me reference. Uh, you guys can making stop. It, making it rain for immersive games. I got it. I got it. I, we have enough reference now. Please stop sending those pictures. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Dan. So, Dan, you had an announce last week for Far Cry 5. That went great. Yeah. Um, one of the things I've noticed is that every time you go out on stage, you look Moon, please calm. cook like this, year please. Year? No. Let me get, Not is it a little. naked person in an apron? I'm dying on no. the inside, dude. 
Days gone. That is aggressive, Jesus. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Everybody make some noise. All right. So like every year, we select a golden ticket winner. Kaze here, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Make Woo. some noise for Kaze, our golden Woo. ticket winner. All right, great. Yes, we sure. are pretty much at showtime, so that means cell phones off, no smoking, which means e-cigarettes, e vape pens. Look, you get it, you vape. Just, you know, keep it outside because this is California where the weed is legal, but smoking a cigarette will get you honeyed in quinoa. Well, I must say that I kind of enjoyed that yesterday, <laughs> but that's a different story. Whether you're a gamer, content creator, Fair enough. or even esports. You now, did not call that nigga e Nori. We had two exciting announcements today in the esports arena. Pun intended. <laughs> With ESL. <laughs> oh, the first he's being... killing in this conference. Oh, this was bad. What up, guys? Thank you for having me, EA. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Jesse Wellens, and I am a YouTube creator. So I am here to talk about Need for Speed um, Payback. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Need for Speed Payback. I'm, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a great game. But all right, all set aside, I'm a YouTube creator, Need for Speed Payback, it's coming out. I got my boy Marcus, executive producer here. He is the producer of the game. Thank you, Nick, for having me. Hey, man. <laughs> that hey, was so bad, man. This Joe again. 20th anniversary. That was TV so Montreal. bad. <laughs> And massive studio. That was so and hard to sit through. Abu Dhabi studio. That was so bad to sit through. And I know that it can't be in beta forever, so Cliff, tell us when it's out. Can I get a drum roll? Uh. Audience, go! Do a thing! So, the game is finally dropping on August 8th on PC and PlayStation 4. Oh, that's soon. $29.99, none of that $60 multiplayer only bullshit. <laughs> Cliff Blazinski <laughs> is such a fuck. Bro, who's and playing Lawbreakers? If you didn't see it online, Cliff took a bow, yes. $29.99. <laughs> well, if you haven't gotten the chance to see it, in this particular map. That invulnerability bubble's gonna help him out and put on the fight of his life. There we go, the nice strike on Bloody Barrel, bouncing it up far, and there we go. Uh, is this VR? Yeah, it's VR. Bum, 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 that's, bum, bum. That sounded so weird with the lights off. <laughs> so but first, weird. let's talk about what games we expect to see from EA today, like Star Wars Battlefront 2. Brian actually broke down everything we know, everything we hope, everything a new hope to see in this Road to E3 <laughs> report. Check it out. Ahem. Ahem. <laughs> I went early, Rog. Oh. So currently, we're in phase one. That's right. And also, we have some great game changers. You saw Ew. Just a while with, uh, BF updates, Pool Shark, uh, Moose Elk. We also have my boy Darkness, a.k.a. Dankness. That might be racist. He will be playing uh, as well. We have uh, Wesley, Master G. That Star might Wars, be AQ, racist. And some NBA Live, just cuz. Why not? Yes. As, no, okay. That's all right. They set him up because just as he says darkness, they put up the 2K footage. They're wrong for that. Oh, that's horrible. Hey, my name. You know, and some NBA. We have a West. He said darkness as soon as NBA fully bro. Master G, Star Wars HQ, and some NBA. That's, Live, just cut. Why not? That you has know? to be some poor timing. Hey, my name is Joseph Varis. Faris. And I'm the writer, director. This guy just got his own name wrong. 
As we get ourselves set up for the nu- the next game, we're going to head to the... Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Hold on. Say that again. As we get ourselves set up for the nu- the next game... The nuts? We're going to head to the mezzanine with Sonya for a little bit of a giveaway. Thank you, Sean. Uh, Sean is pretty cool, right? Uh, but you know what's a little bit cooler? A free PC. We're going to be giving away a badass PC from our friends at Intel. Thank you, Sonya. And I am pretty cool, right? Jesus, thanks, audience. So- <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I didn't realize you could pinpoint the exact time and date a career died. But, so in a sense, like, any job that you could possibly imagine, an AI does better. Absolutely. Including yeah. being a host for a PC gaming show. Including that. <laughs> oh. Well, I imagine, thank you, this one person who is also excited about the booth. Now, um, Damn, why are they shitting on their game? What? But in addition, they'll get another bro, one bro. million dollar. Like, thank you for the one person excited for this game. I was like, bonus shit. for being the Grand Slam winner. One, mi- one million dollars. All right. Moon the event? Is it starting? Anything, third party, first party, give me something. What do you want to see today here as we get set? Well, back for blood. I think there's been some stuff that has been said. You guys got me gassed for this in two minutes. About today, I would love to see that come. I hate you, niggas. Time to take a look at an upcoming game. And thrilled. As the I see you, I will you consider it. This beast we have been building. Without further ado, here is a taste of Egypt. Open world of, of Egypt. This is the demo that we will ah, be showing on the, I love the show off floor cam here at E3. Footage. Clearly, this was the best way to present this part of the show. Region, it's a, off a cam footage. And the back is really juicy and tasty too. You Can know, I get one too? Get I'll, I'll book you in. Battle mech and penetrate. <laughs> <laughs> I said that out. Uh, we're live, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll allow oh, it. We'll allow yeah, there it. You go. So, Doug, um, welcome back. Hello. Thank you. Uh, it's awesome to have you. But listen, bro, look, look at this dude VR, in the background. Really tell me a little bit more about the Grand Slam event. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. I'm a big sports fan. So, tennis, golf. A brand new experience with wild heist missions. I don't think he knows what to do with his hands. <laughs> Me as a streamer. Thank you, Sonya. Now. I think it could run Crisis at max settings. Uh, what do you think, Sean? I think it can, Sonya. And I also think that it can run our next title. I am a master of transition. Have a wonderful day and go play some video games. We'll see you next year. Touche. <laughs> this awkward pin. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out this year's. All right. So we are literally minutes before it's about to start. Minutes, minutes, min- minutos, minutos. Yes. So we're literally going to watch like a little bit of this. Cry four. Why would you make me kill a monkey? Why wouldn't you kill a monkey? Yes? You got like 30 seconds. From the game pass. Let's get it. All right. It's starting. M chat. Let us see what we can expect from Microsoft in the coming years. 20 years. That's how long Xbox has been with us. And like you, this is a moment I always look forward to. I love seeing the new games, crossing my fingers for my favorites to return. I'm expecting hoping for games. a few surprises. Most of all, though, I love seeing everyone around the world come together and celebrate what games mean to all of us. And I think, you know, this past year, they've meant even more. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for the support you give us and one another. Xbox is turning 20. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the friendships we've had that whole time. At Bethesda, we believe video games do one thing better than anything else. They transport us through art and technology, 
There's real magic when you step into a new world. Wait, new Elder Scrolls? Don't play own. with my feelings? Heron. You've traveled the worlds of Brace Elder Scrolls, yourself. of Fallout, and now, for the first time in over 25 years, we're creating a new universe with Starfield. Oh yeah, that's the new hundreds game. Hundreds of years in our future. It's an epic about hope, our shared humanity, and answering our greatest mystery. It's a game we've dreamt of playing, and it wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team. This better not be No Man's Sky too. To make that dream a reality, we're excited to finally share our first in-game teaser. All right, let's and take something a look. To look forward to. I'm micro hard right now. Simmer down, simmer down, children. Performing road systems check. Helium three tanks check. Seals are intact. Definitely slept on this game, but not dreams. Is it as? All right, chat. As we watch these, throw flowers in the chat if you fuck with it, or tomatoes if you ain't fucking with it. Looks pretty good so far. If this is in game or not. You know, Skyrim game usually kind of looks dated in their graphics. Um, I'm kind of, well, no, it looks pretty decent. They say, the wonder is, not that the field what of is this? stars this is, is uh, so vast, but that's this new IP but that Starfield. We have measured it. You're part of Imagine Constellation Fallout now. or Skyrim, but part in space. of our family. What you found, it's the key to unlocking It looks promising everything. right now. This is all we've been working towards. Auto world is that? But let's see, will this also be that? We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Prepare for departure. Where's Elito 6? I think they did tease that. Don't know if we're gonna see any footage though. I've That's seen enough. Here. Go. To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch. Is that the date? 11 11 2022? Was that the launch date? Is that the date? I'm going to keep it a buck. That was not gameplay. I'm assuming that was the release date. Yeah, it was delivery slate. All right, bet, bet, bet. I need to see. I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Play it day one, Xbox Game Pass. It is awesome to share with you for the very first time one of the most anticipated games in the world from Todd Howard and the I team at Bethesda Game Studios. A groundbreaking am in love. game. And yes, it's exclusive. Welcome to the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. I am so excited and proud to be here today celebrating games. Because although it's been an incredibly tough year, I am grateful that I'm games have been such an important source of joy and connection. We are committed are to the forging the for next for era game? of gaming. What game is Conjuring this? This is real life. Never before possible. You're watching real life right Unlocking now. Unlocking play across all devices and delivering the power of games to everyone and now we get to share that quest with bethesda not just as partners but as one For team <laughs> united in bringing the very best games to more people everywhere so today we get to reveal RTX on her more teeth? of what's to come oh, we have an amazing so show perfect 30 so titles shiny. 27 in xbox game pass and of course every single console title you'll see today is optimized for xbox series x and s offering next-gen performance, speed, and features. We get to work with the best studios on Earth. I'm going to need her to blink, though. Is something nice truly best. riveting. I'm going the to need her to blink. The latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by GSC Game World, Stalker <laughs> 2, coming first to Xbox Series consoles and PC. OK. This will be a true next-gen experience targeting 4K resolution and ray tracing. Let's take a look What's at what you'll again? get to I think play it's when it launches next year. All right, chat. 
console launch exclusive. Ну, чё там? Готово. Ну и пошли они нахрен. Спасибо тебе. Ты многим стал кем Ну, давай, малюй картину маслом. No, I'm pretty sure it's Venezuela, Mr. Steal Your Pot. The accent clearly gives it away. Вот поэтому я ни в какие разборки и не лезу. Не хочу пулю поймать. Ну не знаю. Между аномалией и маслиной. This game looks really nice. Fuck, can I? What in the Death Stranding is this? What in Death Stranding is this? Interesting. Вот ты говоришь, а я прям вижу красоту эту. Не первый год в зоне, вроде примелькалась уже, а каждый день удивляет. Зона надо есть не может. Говорят, ты знаешь, где вход в фундамент. Imagine you can create a character in this game, Metro Standing. I'm sold. I'm seeing some flowers in chat. Are you guys fucking with this? Слышал? Вот это культура. Ты одно и то же по кругу лобаешь. Сам же просишь. You spit it. Училище, если что. Looks good. Мессия, прошу прощения. Может вам кучёны? Профессура. Look at the load of this guy. Они вам лабораторию найдут. What in the hell? Да пошел ты. Зря ты так сделал. Ты же Чего-чего? А дружбы в зоне я точно не встречал. Это верно. Он мучился? Нет. Это хорошо. Он этого не заслужил. А пулю заслужил. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. Мне тоже. Считаешь, я не думал, как обойтись без его смерти? Она не могла быть свободна, пока он жил. Зато теперь посмотри на нее. Нет, Скиф. These crunchy roll titles are не gonna hit him. Сона дала мне жизнь, новую жизнь. Look like that жизнь, monster. которую я готов вернуть, если потребуется. Я буду защищать ее всегда. Okay, I, I, I'm seeing the Dead Space vibe. I'm seeing the Dead Space vibe. I'm kind of, I'm liking this. Охренеть. Похоже, пора. И куда ты теперь? В Припять. Нужно с ним поговорить. Удачной охоты, сталкер. Сток и ту. Okay, not bad, not bad. Something to look forward to for next year. 
I'm getting yeah, next year is probably gonna be stacked. Okay, I'm seeing I'm guessing a four-player co-op zombie game. Four-player co-op zombie game. Looking like a four-player co-op zombie game from Warner Brothers, Turtle Rock Studios. You guys we're tired of zombie here. games? We Another game it. from the Left 4 Dead Survivor is not enough. We've got to fight. We've no, seen we this time and time again. All right, when was the last time you saw written in any numbers? Hmm? All of my best friends like to run their up. When they talk about all the lies, they never got to Need that. This nigga said black for blood. <laughs> Let's go. You're here. Come on. God, I love Mondays. This fall. Another day in paradise. Was that told you, Dick? Oh, you can play as the zombies. Need help here. Oh, that's kind of that's fucking sick. Hold him into the vomit. We got one shot. We're popping down. How you been? Over here. Back from Rome, October 12th. All right, I want to see some new games, new games. I think we have introduction to what? Starfield? But we heard about Starfield. Did you wash your balls today? Why, yes, I did. With peppermint soap. Xbox Gate. All right, so is the new IP? Avalanche Studios. What have they made in the past? Deathloop. Is this Deathloop? Deathloop looks so interesting to me. This actually might be death loop. Open world. The art style looks different from death loop. Army of three. Army of Four. Contraband. All right. Cool. Didn't really get a feel for what the game's about. Just a CGI trailer. We got Danny Weir. Bro. Please, make Rare make something else besides this, man. An eel wind blows from beyond the horizon. Oh, they got the, uh, the black A lady from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean again. Tides. And the one who might stop this ruin, trapped. For all forever in the Seeing sea some of tomatoes the in chat. Warranted, warranted. Now to save the pirate life. You must start by saving the life of one. It's Jack Sparrow! Oh. It is Jack Didn't Sparrow! Didn't realize we had company. It is Jack Sparrow! Captain Jack Sparrow. All right, I'm about to say, but she sounded like, like, like the lady from Pirates of the house. Caribbean. She sounded like the lady from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Because of the treasure, Jack I have the script. A darkness followed him here. And if it's not stopped, 
This world will sink into oh, shadow. Oh, we the Nick Wave! This sea holds many secrets. Ah, you work for Xbox? New body at last. All I can do is show you the way. From what I hear of this so-called Sea of Thieves, it's nothing but curse crews, bloodthirsty mermaids. I listen, man. Legion of Dead. They caught the back of this. Oh yes. And now one Davy Jones. This oh. might hit for Danny Weir, niggas. Well, I believe that now is the perfect time to use these cannons. A world without the eternal abyss. It's a world that refuses to face the truth. Nothing lasts forever. Destroy them! Working with Disney's pretty big. Moon built like Davy Dar? Fair enough. I'll take I it. I don't suppose, by chance, there's a second one of those? I'm going to go ahead and assume that they got uh, a person with the a similar sea of voice. Thieves, eh? As Bring Johnny Depp. Them getting Johnny Depp to voice this seems like a huge budget call. So I'm assuming they got someone else that sounds like him. Moon, do you be getting them hoes? No. Very odd question to ask in the middle of an Xbox press conference, but I'll, I'll let it slide. Guilty Gear? Oh, Yakuza? Oh, wait. Collection? Hey, how's it going? Yakuza Let's do like this. a dragon. Reputation is everything. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. Time to call! Oh, friend! Bro, this game is so extra! Bro, she's beating ass with a phone! What the? Happy birthday! Bro, this game is so extra! Hold up! Like a dragon. No lies, this game is fire, bro. Real hot girl shit. I mean, real alpha gameplay. Incoming fire! This game looks generic. Attention nice. all squads. The Russian troops are falling back. Do looks like Battlefield. <laughs> looks like Battlefield. We push them back. It's definitely Battlefield. You can tell by the HUD. Definitely Battlefield. Ooh, grapple? Okay, but like Battlefield COD? I think I'm good on all shooters. Not all shooters. Did I miss anything? I'm not sure what your interests are because they did show quite a bit of games. Nothing really new stuff we heard about already. We'll wait to see the new stuff though. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I did like Bad Company. I did like Bad Company. One thing I'm trying to see, I want to see some variety. Right now, this is like what? Our third or fourth shooter game? This is like our third or fourth shooter that we've seen so far. Americans love shooters. Be able, like, even. Oh, you better have a parachute. Oh, they glided. Yeah. 
Yikes! The next era. Basil has always been good with their world destruction. We get it, it's Battlefield. Don't give me epilepsy, my nigga, damn. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Console launch exclusive. Oh, new game? So, how was your day? Oh, you know. I have something to share. What is this, my birthday? I'm out. We're having a baby. Police, you're under arrest for your father's murder eight years ago. What's going on? Shut up! You know what this is. You've been lying me all this time. I should never have told you. I'm out of patience. Uh, uh. What? I know I say this a lot, but I love you. I say this a lot too, but back at you. 12 minutes? Oh, short game. Definitely good for speed running. Is this Tagging you where is it full effect? The mind is they the better give this boy a fucking release thing. Ready for anything. They better give this man a fucking release thing. Time for justice. The fate of the free thing. I'm trying to get some head exploration. Your hands. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. The mission is falling apart. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. Yeah, looks good. Uh. Should I might fuck around and play this? Looks good. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Kaggy psycho nothing right now of the world. Can you do that? Yes. If I can find some bacon. I'm going to ignore that last part. They need a release date. This game has been in the works for like nine decades. August 25th! Let's go! August is actually stacked. I just realized, dog. This is usually the moment when I say hello and welcome to the Bethesda August E3 show. August is stacked. We love that we can share the stage with Xbox this year. And whether you've known Bethesda for 35 years or are just getting to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the August latest on your favorite game. August is actually stacked. We started this showcase with my good friend Todd Howard, who gave you a first look at Starfield. Along with Bethesda Game Studios, all of our teams are continuing to work on the projects Wait, that have been in development it's still since going on. well before we joined we're the Xbox literally family. Watching it. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more titles to Game Pass for a total of 30 Bethesda games. Sure. That includes several id Software games, like the award-winning Doom Eternal. If you're looking for another reason to play it, Doom Eternal will be optimized for Xbox Series X and S on June 29th. Powered by id Tech, this next-gen upgrade will be free for everyone who owns Doom Eternal. And on Series X, it will offer for improved that visuals at 60 FPS with ray tracing, a 4K mode, and an optional performance mode up to 120 FPS. Or maybe you're in the mood for an RPG like Skyrim, which marks its 10th anniversary this November. Oh, we can't celebrate yet it another you. game for so Skyrim. Share your favorite Skyrim memories, stories, artwork, and more on Skyrim10.com. Or explore an ever changing post-apocalyptic wasteland in Fallout 76. Everything you love about Fallout games custom camp building, for a decade. rich storylines, warring another factions, Skyrim unique characters, release. places to discover you'll find it all here. In fact, Fallout 76 is now one of the most popular games on Game Pass thanks to an incredibly welcoming and collaborative community. Here's a look at what's coming next in Fallout 76. Let's go! Don't care. 
I'm off the Fallout series, man. I'm so Brotherhood off of it. Steel are the guardians of human civilization. <laughs> Fort Atlas is I'm, safe. I'm so off it. It came at a great cost. The Brotherhood must stand united. Ugh, I don't like that Super word. The Brotherhood? This proves more Sounds than anything so the need taboo. for our justice. Bathroom break, get your drinks, get your, your food, your snacks. Our forces, Shin. The most important thing Who the is fuck finding is everyone that has Maybe gone die hard and returning man. them home. Aw, oh, this looks magnum. So it comes to this. I thought you understood what that insignia meant. You are no paladin of the Brotherhood. I set this plan in motion, and I am the only one who can stop it. Choose justice. The Brotherhood of Steel must protect the future of Appalachia and of the world. Your righteous crusade has gone too far. Well, it may seem that we are fractured. I believe that we are now stronger. I'm than so ever. off this game. Not by Captain America. This is a choice that can never be undone. Steel Rain, July 7th. Dot com. What the hell was that? New game? New game? Expedition Squad Delta, report. Over. Now it looks like Fallout Squad still. Delta, what's going on out there? Yeah, it looks like Fallout still. This is funny. I know you can hear me. Is this? A new game? Another fallout. Okay. The Wasteland isn't the only open world playground with an amazing community. I'm gonna keep it a buck. The Elder Scrolls Online I'm from Cinemax Wait. Online Studio has now surpassed 18 million oh, players just and MMO. shows no signs of slowing down. Right now, our players are enjoying the new Blackwood chapter, part of the Gates of Oblivion year-long adventure. We've got a lot more to come in ESO, including the conclusion to this epic story later this fall with ESO Deadlands. And with the release of ESO Console Enhanced this Tuesday, the game will deliver a Moon true God Blackwood, native experience hello? optimized for the Series X you People play ESO? S. Apparently it's really good. I mean, I wouldn't know. They got a pretty big user base. They made a chapter about me. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm kind of cruising right now for uh, this event, but I'm assuming they're going to try to end it off with a Halo or Fable. Both those games need to be shown off in at least some comparable manner. ESO is mid. Is it like a tab targeting MMO like uh, Final Fantasy and WoW? Hey, how you been? What's good? What's good? PSO2, bruh. PSO2 is kind of addicted. Similar combat to Oblivion. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. It's a new world with new rules. Uh-huh. Now, nothing is off the table. This looks different. Winning this battle will take a new breed of fighter. Wait. Is this fall? This is like human fall flat. This is definitely rhymeware. This is like gang beast. This is gang beast. Three idiots playthrough confirmed. Like the 
ragged all of it all it's hilarious man Wait, they kind of hitting that though. Party animal. A party animal. Um, hello? Ahem. <laughs> I think I've seen Bowser play this game. Ooh, Hades DLC? Oh. I'm guessing it's coming to Game Pass if it's not already on Game Pass. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here. Try and stop me. I'm assuming. Moon, what I meant, kind of hard to wrap up in uh, a short amount of time. Uh, I. I I mean, I don't know what, like, your interests are, but I don't know. Nothing really, like, notable right now. Okay, just so it's just coming here. Nothing really notable, I would say. Jump ship. All right. Is this a new studio? I'm gonna go on a limb here and say I'm out. August is stacked, man. A lot of these games are dropping in August too. Give me the bug. I'm good. That dog better not die in this fucking game. Right. the 20th anniversary of time? Xbox and the 20th anniversary of Halo. To our millions of passionate fans, thank you. We wouldn't be here without all of you. Our goal has always been to bring players together. And for the first time, we're thrilled to offer our entire multiplayer experience to all players across Xbox and PC with no barriers. Okay. Halo Infinite multiplayer will be free to play and invite more of you than ever before to become a Spartan hero. I'm excited to be here with Joseph Staten, the creative director of Halo Infinite. I want to see what changes they made the to the game Halo so far. Combat Evolve to leading the fan favorite Halo 3 ODST. Joseph is a Halo visionary. It is so great to have him back with Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. And hey, everybody. For us, and I hope many of you, Halo has always been about heroism and wonder, about fighting to keep humanity safe against impossible odds in a beautiful and mysterious sci-fi world. This is just one part of the Zeta Halo ring, the largest, most wide open environment we've ever built. Yeah, the multiplayer is free. And we can't wait for you to explore it. I bet. <clears throat> the heart of Halo is Spartan 117, the Master Chief. In the next chapter of the Chief's story, you'll face his greatest challenge yet. I'm definitely seeing the improvement. You're not alone in the fight. 
Oh, the main batteries are shut down. When they first showed this game off, it was looking rough. This is looking a lot more polished, which would make sense as a game further along in development, you know? You have one bullet against an entire army. What can you do on your own? I told you. It's enough. So I see. you to understand. There's not There's much not time. time. Even if it's a bad game, I'm in. If you knew how you were going to die, you knew how you were going to die. How would you live your life differently? How would you live your life differently? Ooh, cut yeah, I want to see cut the gameplay. Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Siri! Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... It's Sam okay, Samsung! Then? There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good. Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The mission's changed. The mission's always, always changed. Are you sure? I thought he was about to take off his helmet. I was like, they're not doing this. The mission's changed. She got a dumpy? Of course, you can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. And on Xbox Series X, you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action he at up to 120 the frames per second. Finally, I'm very happy to announce that Halo Infinite's first free-to-play multiplayer season and infinite story-driven campaign will launch together this holiday. Okay. A new day is upon us. No date us. yet, but this holiday. So I'm assuming around like November. To fight. Together, we are unstoppable. Are you ready? When they say that, I'm assuming November, December. To him? Did he grapple the weapon to him? That's actually kind of heat. Ordinance drop inbound. That's actually really hot. Looks like classic All Halo to me. Your earliest convenience. Different game mode. Now, show me what you can do. That grab shining go. No release 
release date, but I'm assuming November. November-ish. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Evil has survived. New game? The dark figure wanders in the east. That CG looks really good. This nigga said Overwatch. He must be stopped. At all costs. Diablo? Diablo. It's Devil! Oh, it's the same. It's the same devil. Sure. Oh, man, what the hell is this? <laughs> I think they're just putting out the same game that's been out before, just remastered in graphics. All right, so they're definitely ending on a fable, possibly. You're too late. This may be our darkest hour. But it will be your greatest moment. Yeah, I'm off this. Two. They're just they're just reporting two. I was hoping that was gonna be like one and two, but it's just two. Captured in game. Alright, is this a new IP? What is this? These things. Where do they come from? From all of us. All of us. What we do to him. Can you stop it? I don't know. But he's my brother. And I would die for him. Kingdom Heart! Look at all that heartless. This looks like a new IP. Or is it? That's rats? Are those rats? That's a hot shot. Those are rats. Those are rats. That's a lot of six nines. Wait, this looks good. Game of Thrones. A rat's tail. Oh, Ratatouille, Requiem. <laughs> the following footage has been captured at four. Oh, okay. This got it. Wait, hold up. It rings every hour, senor. Oh, uh, we've seen this before. We've seen it. I'm not mad. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Let me ask you a question. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Sure. Bro! I just the, song. the fact that he's not even Spanish and able to pull this off is from Bro. Time you learn about resolver, Danny. To take down Castillo, they and have a the day. right tool for they the better. right job. Keep talking. It's a stealth operation. I got you covered. Bro, I have a feeling that the Avatar game is gonna be like this. I have a feeling the Avatar game is literally gonna be Far Cry. But it's first, have you guys seen the screen? Taking out a high value target? I have just what you need. Are you playing as. Oh, so she's the main up? character. One this whole time I thought the boy service. was going to be the main character of it. This is how it goes. 
Yeah, I've been keeping all the streams. I thought the little boy like in the trailer and shit. Mm, everyone in Yada saw that shit. What? Wait a second. Who brought the rooster? Hey, whatever you need to get the job done, Bowser. That's a, that's a, yo, bro. The chickens that Blazikins are based off of. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, dude. It's a wait. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, I'm... So she's the main character, it looks like. I like how you resolve it, Juan. So do I. I'm here. Nice cockle. Why, well, thank, well, thank you. Is this Tunic? Is that that Fox Zelda game? Hey. Coming up next on Nick Jr. Welcome back to Moon's fucking show. Is this Journey? I see a gun. What is this? Rex Slime Rancher Two That's what Toasty's doing right now I'm playing Slime Rancher On someone's face Huh? This the one? Console launch exclusive Foam punch Welcome back to Shredageddon. Here's a new trick. Let's go. Wait. 20XX? Steep 2? Yeah. I was hopeful. Xbox kind of eating. <laughs> Steam 2, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so far, the only thing that really stood out was the Halo. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is Far Cry, really which we've already Holy seen. Holy blothering whip -whip. Where's Kanye? What, what what is this? <laughs> Detroit? Wait. Wait. Detroit become human too. This looks kind of hot. I'm not gonna lie. Grandma's to make those not. Yeah, it feels like Bioshock. I'm aroused. This 
looks fire. This looks like Bioshock. Someone said Russian Bioshock. I see it. Babushka. They called my penis the Baba Yaga. ET's getting ported to Game Pass. What is this? Uh, this looks like a 2D game. Atomic Heart looks Dallas Heat. Like they're upgrading not upgrading but i'm liking how they're kind of like making like 8-bit the 8-bit style looking oh wait hold up hold up it's like hd 8-bit you know wait why is combat low Bro! And it didn't it doesn't look like like it's 2D, but it like it feels fluid. That looks hot. It's kinda hot. In the first year of grounded, millions of players kept busy. With crafting, fighting, the bond, zip lining, flying things. Now, to celebrate, we present the Shroom and Doom update. It gives the people what they've been asking for, like sitting. No, seriously, a lot of people want to sit. This is what you guys are. This, this is what you guys are am for. Of your human Sitting. And of course, mushrooms. This is like what, this is like what we meme Animal Crossing niggas for getting amped for. We also got something that literally no one was asking for: the Brood Mother. She's so terrifying. You should probably turn on arachnophobia mode. Oh, even her blob scares the sh out of us. What the fuck? Go big. Or That's never a go dirty. home. That's a dirty blue The vinegar. Oh, and it Grounded. looks like we added achievements too. Nice. I'm out. Like we've seen this already. I think it's the same trailer too. Fair enough. Five or five games. DC the Beast, how you been? RPG? This is like your typical RPG uh, trailer shit. Oh, bad bitch. Wolfman! 
Fighting game? Yeah, definitely RPG. Has that Octopath Traveler look to it. I love the animation, though. This is a lot more... I like the animation. Okay. some fluid ass animation i fuck with it if only pokemon look like this do not expect pokemon to push the boundaries of rpgs forward please stop you're going to only let yourself be disappointed you have shown an aptitude for applying lethal solutions to conflicted situations we wish to test your abilities Hold on real quick. Let me make sure these packages don't get bitten up by my dogs. Hold up. History is all around us. Those who made it have never been for Dynasty Warriors! Their daring choices maybe echo across time. Turning what is real life? Into kingdoms and mortals. Shut in regions. If history was in your hands, what would you build? This looks like a mobile game. It looks like a mobile game. How would you fight? Would you go? What will you be remembered for? This is not Civ. Do not play Civ like that. Do not do Civ like that. Make your history. Eh? <laughs> you feel me? We begin by hearing an old, wise-sounding voice. Fable? And we see a quiet, peaceful setting. This, ha this, this has to be it. Game seem this has to be it. Important. Fable. Now, something must break the This serenity. is it. Will this creature be in the game? No. Say goodbye to it forever. Suddenly, and for no reason, people running. These pointless slow motion shots make everything seem cool and should bolster pre -sale Definitely not numbers. Fable. Definitely not Fable. That wah sound can mean only one thing. We must gaze over an epic shot of a world. And there should be lens flares. <laughs> we see our hero. But only the silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design. <laughs> or finished the story. Or finished any gameplay that's it's actually no ready guy. to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished is the title. Hey, bro! Bro! Let's go! I love Outer Worlds! That 
was a fire trailer. Bro, the, the bait and switch. Plane simulator! Plane simulator 2021! Beijing. This should look beautiful. The sky is calling. I'm here for this. Okay. This looks beautiful. This looks nice. Forza? It's Forza! Hey! Drop the beat! It was little Nas's song. I thought it was little Nas. Hello, I'm Mike Brown, creative okay. director at Playground Games, and I can't wait to show you what Ooh, we've been Mike working Brown. on. Horizon is known for fun, freedom, and beauty. This year, uh, the Horizon Festival Bro, arrives Horizon, in beautiful, I thought it was diverse dawn. Mexico. This is the largest and most diverse open world ever in a Forza Horizon game. 
and there is no better car to explore it than the stunning AMG Project One Forza Edition. Rendered in unparalleled detail and with ray tracing in Forza Vista, thanks to the power of the Xbox Series console. Shalingo! I've invited along some of the team to help give you a taste of some of the amazing content that's waiting for you in Forza Horizon 5. Please welcome Bill, Maddie, Sierra, and Don oh, from the Forza team. Hey, Mike. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, everyone. Hey, what's up, Mike? My name is Maddie. And we also have Abraham with us as well. He's one of the talented actors who will be appearing in the game. Bienvenidos a Mexico. I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. We begin in the rainforest on an expedition. This is a new campaign oh, mode like in which you set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico to explore new locations and discover places for the festival to expand. I'm on the river now. We're getting close. There you are. How's the expedition going? All right. I'm racing a car through the Mexican jungle running. Doesn't mic? get much better than this. Can we get... I can see some ruins up ahead. Bienvenida al Smal. Look out for the fucking monkey. This city is going to do a bio architecture. That's a peek at our adventurous campaign. Whoa. But Forza Horizon has always been a game that's best enjoyed with others. Let's go and see what some of our other players are up to. The Xbox Series consoles allow us to capture every last detail right down to the individual needles on these Choya cactus. The scene looks real, but there are no tricks. <laughs> this is in-game. Maddie is behind the wheel of the AMG Project One Forza Edition in Mexico's lush living desert. The perfect place to meet up with friends and head out for a drive. Thanks to the next generation of our Horizon Live servers, everyone else we see here are real players. And it looks like Maddie has been joined by some other members of the Forza team. Let's leave Maddie for a moment and head out to the coast and meet Don. Don is already on the move, exploring this idyllic seaside town. This is a recreation of Mexico that is honest, authentic, and filled with love. Speaking of, hold up, Don. Yeah? Oh, hey, what's up? This is a mural by Mexican artist Farid Rueda, just one of the many beautiful, faithful pieces of Mexico you'll find all over Forza Horizon 5. Chat, catch me on Forza Horizon TSLP. <laughs> While Don catch drives down to the beach, we'll jump over to the Gran Caldera volcano. Check out this geology detail, implemented with precision accuracy using photogrammetry data captured on location atop an active Mexican volcano. The entire world has been recreated at this level of detail. And here's Sierra in her favorite off-road buggy. The volcano Sierra and friends are exploring is the highest point ever in a Horizon game. And thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles, from up here we can see for miles in every direction. In the distance, we can just about make out Guanajuato. Let's take a closer look. Guanajuato is one of the most beautiful cities great, yeah, but anywhere games in the world. Typically do look great. It's a colorful, undulating city like full of vibrant architecture. The PS3, it even has a PS4? sprawling network of tunnels. I don't, and these I think twisting, you're hard turning, to find an overlooking driving game. I mean, as well as looking good, it plays great too. As we see here, as Don is challenged in Horizon's open world battle royale, The Eliminator. Battle royale? While Don tries to win that race, a the rest of our players what? are still out exploring this diverse open world. Let's head north to the canyon. The Horizon series is known for its uplifting beauty. And using our unique HDR camera rig, we captured 24 hour shoots of real Mexican skies at 12K Chat. resolution. Authentic and thanks Mexican to the Xbox skies. series consoles, these photorealistic skies result in skies lifelike lighting that dynamically changes every frame, Different from all making North you feel American, like you're UK really and there. Canadian skies. Here's Maddie again. She's joined by Abraham and some other members of the team. Our players are using Forza Link, the new AI assistant that intelligently tracks the status of you and the people you meet online, and then helps you link up and play together. We'll now head deep into the rainforest and rejoin Bill and the rest of our players. Here, we see our new volumetric lighting system, filling the scene with god rays as the sunlight god dapples rays. through the dense rainforest. 
a Horizon arcade minigame is about to start. Forza Link knows that Bill what loves minigames, so it intelligently prompts movie? Sierra to invite Bill. Bill accepts, only and they're seamlessly dust. linked together with their GPS route set. With that Horizon arcade minigame starting soon, all of our players are coming together. This minigame is called Pinata Pop, signaled by the Horizon cargo plane dropping a payload of pinatas. Ooh, over this way. Gotta catch up to you guys. Our players now have to work together to find and pop as many as they can. Okay, go up here to the left. There's loads along the main road. Here I go. I'll take a look through the bushes here. There's some between the houses. <laughs> oh, there's a couple more over here. Sweet. While the team grab those last few pinatas, we're going over to the stadium because I have one more thing to show you. This is Events Lab, the incredible new tool set that allows you to create your own races, game modes, and gameplay experiences. You customize everything right down to the fundamental rules of the game. Forza Horizon 5 is the largest, most fun, and most beautiful open world we've ever built. GTA and it will who? truly be an astounding showcase for the Xbox Series consoles when it comes to Xbox Game Pass this Bro. November 9th. Thank I you so much. I'll game. see you all in Mexico later this year. I got the gist. Niggas be driving. <laughs> Fable time. Team Xbox is on a mission to bring the joined community of gaming to everyone on the planet. That's why you, Xbox still the gamer, eating? I'm keep are the bug. center of everything we do. Today, nice. we showed you 30 games. 27 of them will be available on Xbox Game Pass. Hold on, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Now, through the end of the year, you can look forward to back-to-back -back monthly releases landing day one on neighbor? Game Pass, led by five new titles from Xbox Game Studios, as well as highly they anticipated games Fable. like Back for Blood, 12 Minutes, and The Ascent. And as we look ahead to next year, I'm inspired by the creativity of Bethesda and Xbox Game Studios. We showed you the highly anticipated RPG Starfield coming exclusively to Xbox. But we also have some of the industry's best RPG storytellers working on Avowed, Fable, The Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 76, The Outer Worlds 2, and Elder Scrolls 6. We unveiled the stunning multiplayer mode for the world's most beloved shooter in Halo Infinite, adding to the roster of iconic Xbox shooters alongside Wolfenstein, Gears of War, Perfect Dark, and Doom. We premiered the most epic open world Halo racing game, needs to end? Forza Horizon what do you mean needs 5, to end? bringing you a vibrant and authentic depiction Starfield? of Mexico no, in a game built from the ground up that game for before. next gen while the team at Turn 10 is hard at work on the next Forza Motorsport. Our growing family of 23 studios is devoted to advancing the medium we all love. Xbox has been here for 20 years, and that's because of you. Our team strives to make Xbox a place where you'll find the greatest games, I think they're kind of wrapping the most up. dedicated developers, I don't and the most help passionate it. community. Together, we all make Xbox the best place to play. Before I go, there's one more thing. There's the one more thing. Take a look at this brand new, original oh, game, it's a new game from the Arcane team at Bethesda, the studio that created Prey, and Dishonored. It's a new, okay, new game. Arcane created something new for them, an open world immersive shooter that you can play alone or with your friends. And like Starfield, this game will be new an IP. Xbox exclusive. New IP. Harry Potter. Uh, should I mute this? Ooh, child! Pobre oh, Vivon. I'm gonna have to take you apart again. Hey, Dove, anything else? Experience exists too. Tangible. 
25 centimeters dramatically elongated DMCA Jamie Come on, make yourself useful So, uh, that was fun, right? Earlier That's your cue, mate Sleep tight You know what this reminds me of? My time in the Himalayas Ready is later, Dad Interesting you think they can't kill you anytime they want? Hey, asshole! I'm in love. Uh, new IP. Leffen? How do we always get into this shit? Hers, everything, bro. I'm about to scroll back just for her face again. Hey! Really hope the video was worth it. Everybody, fall back! People need to know what happened. Layla, with me. Get me on the roof now. Thank you, Layla. You're the best. She got a snapped ability. She's like Purple Lantern or some shit. Fair enough. Where's the other one? Where'd it go? Give me a taste. Let's bad. hell. Vampire Hunter. Bro. Ah! Jacob, there's something. Hello? You better have a plan, Jacob. Yep. Don't miss. Don't touch me. Look, a new one. Vivo, Fernandez, go, go. Bro, she's now nah, she's actually snapped. You can't break the blood trends. It's only just because. That's hot. Yeah, I think there's vampire in this. Really? The body, what does it taste like? Be specific. Like blood and death and strawberry. Sun's coming up. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Sure thing, Edgar Allan bro. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you think nah, you this game will ever go back to normal? Would you want to go back to normal? Not if I still have to pay my student loans. Redfall? 2020, 2022 is stacked. Oompa Loompa body ass bitch. If there is one that place in our dreams. All right, so I think it's wrapped up. I think that's it. We can disappear into a world. Square Enix is about to start in a bit. Yeah, that. Square Enix is also today. Yup. Hold up, I want to go back. Boom, hold up, boom. 
Fight time in the Himalayas. Ready is later, Dad. I want to see this shit again. You think they can't kill you anytime they want? Hey, asshole. Bruh. I'm in love. Bop. Bop. I saw her first. Y'all gonna have to fight me. You're going to have to fight me. Should we do recap? Uh, let's see. Do we have time for recap? We got four. All right, we got we got a, we got an hour, so we can go back. All right, let's re let's recap it up. Let's recap it up. Which sec? Which block? Let's recap it up. Is I Snapchat? All right. So technology. They started off with Starfield. What's after this? Square Enix. Square Enix is in. 50 minutes. Twenty years. That's how long Xbox has been with us. And like you, this is a moment I always look forward to. I love seeing the new games, crossing my fingers for my favorites to return, hoping for a few surprises. Most of all, though, I love seeing everyone around the world come together and celebrate what games mean to all of us. Moon, and you I gotta think, watch you know, Warner the Brent after year, Square Enix. I'm down, meant I'm even watching more. it all. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for the support you give us and one another. Xbox is turning 20. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the friendships we've had that whole time. At Bethesda, we believe video games do one thing better than anything else. They transport us through art and technology, there's real magic when you step into a new world and can make it your own. What's poppin'? What's We've traveled the worlds of Elder weird. Scrolls, of Fallout, and now... How you been? Was good. For the first time in over 25 years, we're creating a new universe with Starfield. Set hundreds of years in our future, it's an epic about hope, our shared humanity, and answering our greatest mystery. It's a game we've dreamt of playing, and it wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team who's hard at work at home to make that dream a reality. We're excited to finally share What's good? How you our been? first in-game teaser and something to look forward to. Constellation Starship Frontier, we have you on scanners. Shake his hands. So for those of you guys that missed it, we're watching the Xbox event again. Uh, we got 50 minutes, so there's no reason why we couldn't watch it again. We're just here vibing. Shake my hand, shake my hand. They say, the wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, have, but that have we have started to play Shin Megami. How far are you? You're part of Constellation now, part of our family. I forgot one of us today. I will, I'm curious what they got to show. It's the key to unlocking everything. We reach your Constellation. This is all we've been working towards. Well, good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. For Relax. Ooh, ooh, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. So this is Starfield for anybody that's, uh, that missed it. Starfield uh, is the new uh, 
Skyrim slash uh, Elder Scrolls type shit, but it's set in space. To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch. Showcase was kind of heat. There was only like two or three games that really caught my eye. Um, a lot of shooter games. I was hoping for a lot more variety in shit. But not mad at it overall. I would say solid conference overall. I'll probably say about... Might give it like an 8 or 7 out of 10. Hey, Moon. Can we do YouTube vids until the next presentation? Oh, we're kind of just... I'm kind of just watching the press conference again. I get a six out of five. It is awesome to share with you for the very first time one of the most anticipated games in the like, world. Like, like from Todd Howard and Halo his team at Bethesda Game Studios. That's definitely a big plus. A seven out of ten. Game. I think I might give it a seven and out of ten. Yes, it's exclusive. Welcome to the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. I am so excited and proud to be here today celebrating games because although it's been an incredibly tough year i am grateful too, that games really good. an important source of joy and connection we are committed to forging the next era of gaming this is the best part of showcase Conjuring her worlds never before possible unlocking play across miles devices, better than yesterday this and delivering the power of games was solid. to everyone and now we Atomic get to share Heat, that bro. quest with bethesda not just I think partners, partners, named all one team. Outer Two, Atomic United Heat, bringing the Redfall, very best games Replace, more I would also people mention everywhere. that 8-bit style looks so gorgeous. So today, we get to reveal gorgeous. more of what's to come. We have an amazing show. 30 titles, 27 in Xbox Game Pass. And of course, every single console title you'll see today is optimized for Xbox Series X and S, offering next-gen performance, speed, and features. We get to work with the best studios on Earth. Not gonna lie, I was Next shitting on Force, but it looks good. Is something it looks good, but racing riveting. games typically look good. The latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by GSC Game World, Stalker 2. Coming first to Xbox Series consoles and PC. This will be a true next-gen experience, targeting 4K resolution and ray tracing. Let's take a look at what you'll get to play when also, it launches that next year. Also, that 3D RPG replace. I think that's what you're talking about. I think. This game also looks very interesting, too. Готово. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I know you're talking about. Uh, yes, yes, the one that had that octopus <laughs> traveler kind of look to it. Спасибо тебе. Ты многим сталкерам жизнь спас. Ну, давай, малюй картину This масла. also looks really good. This is definitely Russian. This is definitely Venezuelan. And the fact that most of these will be on Game Pass Ultimate, yeah, that's the biggest play. Xbox has a Xbox X Series mini fridge uh, releasing this re revealed. And it's on their Twitter. I think they've been they've been on the fridge meme for a while. I think back when Xbox Xers was kind of coming out, I think they sent giant fridges to like a bunch of content creators with all that shit. What the I think they've been on that meme. А я прям вижу красоту эту. Не первый год в зоне вроде примелькалась уже, а каждый день удивляет. Зона надо есть не может. Говорят, ты знаешь, где вход в фундамент. Тише, тише. I hope Sony sees this and try way harder. 
Sony's not even here, so I don't even know what they're like planning on doing, you know? But as of right now, this is definitely by far the best conference they've shown off uh, since E3 started. Ubisoft was mid. Albeit a lot of the main thing I was looking for to this, I was mainly looking for a new game. Mooney said it be, uh, Mega said it before, uh, said it again today. Sony gotta find another response to Game Pass. Do they? Because Sony already, Sony already has something in the works. Will it be as good as Game Pass? I don't know. But does Sony need that? I think Sony just needs to work on their library. To be honest. Professor. PS Now is not. It's nowhere even close to Game Pass. Not even comparable. My main thing for this press conference, I wanted to see new shit, you know? While it's cool that Diablo 2 is getting remastered, sure, for the niggas that want that, cool. Hades coming to Game Pass, cool. The whole Fallout category, cool. But most of these games have been out for a break, you know? I want to see new shit, all right? The stuff that I really got excited for was stuff like Redfall, like the new games, you know? That's the reason I was kind of mad, because like they're showing off games already seen previously. You know, we've seen Far Cry 6 already. This time with a little gameplay, so that's kind of nice. But nothing really like new. A lot of the Game Pass stuff, these shit's already been out, you know? Watch what it, all of us a CG trailer. Like this game looks interesting. I did play Out of Worlds on stream. I'm playing again on PC. Похоже, пора. И куда ты теперь? В Припять. Нужно с ним поговорить. Not a big fan of shooters? Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, it was a lot of shooters. I was trying to see for, like, some more variety. They're running existing IP into the ground, make new shit. That's what I wanted. I really wanted to see new shit. Stalker 2 looks nice. Again, stuff we've already seen, you know? Back for Blood. We've seen this game at least five times since E3 started, you know? I have a feeling they're probably gonna show off this game a little more in depth at the Warner Brothers press conference. I don't wanna see 90 minutes of Back for Blood is not enough. at the Warner Brothers press we've conference. Fight. No, we don't need to do anything. When was the last time you saw written in any numbers? Hmm? All of my best friends like to run their feet up when they talk about all the love that they never got to me. Hang in there, Holly. Get nigh with your best friends. Not a fan of zombie no shit, just boring. They have ran uh, zombies into the ground over the past decade. But I am excited I for this. Mondays. Another day in paradise. What more can you do for zombies? You know? They've done horror zombies. They've done comedic zombies. They've done zombies in waves. Zombies down single file line. Mutant zombies. Plant zombies. Hey, how you been? What's good? What's good, cat? Fight against zombies, play as zombies. We got one shot. Let's make it count. Shooting zombies. Then he became zombies that shoot. Call of Duty shooting zombies to making a game about zombies shooting people. Like, bro, they've done a bunch of zombie games. Plants versus zombies, humans versus zombies. They've done, they done just about every type of zombies. Zombie parkour. 
zombie platformer, zombie Musa game. They done it. They done. They ran zomb. They ran the zombie genre to the ground. Sim zombies. Okay, this game we did not see much about. So I'm not really sure what this is. This game's about. All it really did was pan. Like we never saw no gameplay. Sun River Drop. Fireproof safe. Splash catch him. How you been? So this game is co-op. Open world co-op. Ah, uh, look at her again. Did I miss anything good? We're watching the press conference again, so you probably catch it. I'm curious about this game. Next, yeah, so this game, like, this is a cool collab, but I'm not a and Sea of Thieves type nigga, you know? from beyond the horizon. A new danger is coming on the tides. And the one who might stop this ruin, trapped for all forever in the Sea of the Damned. Now to save the pirate life. You must start by saving the life of Bring back one. Banjo? Good luck. realize we had company i feel like a disney collab has the potential to Captain send Jack city of thieves to the next level but especially if like this starts getting promoted on the disney channel kids start seeing oh shit higher to the caribbean xbox of the they start copying it start playing it it might send it to the next level because i'm not too not sure how big of a player base is sea of thieves shadow the sea holds many secrets Ah, a new body at last. All I can do is show you the way. From what I hear of this so-called Sea of Thieves, it's nothing but curse crews, bloodthirsty mermaids, a legion of dead, angry pirates. Oh yes, and now one Davy Jones. Mark Clark played it, so people like it. Well. I believe that then now again, is I don't really the see many people like, use these cannons. I don't I don't know how big this game is, you know? It's so hard to gauge. Like I can sit here and say nobody's playing C of Thieves, but then again it might truth. possibly have like you know a six hundred K user base, you know? I'm pretty sure C of Thieves uh, did really good when it came Let's out. Okay. Suppose. By chance, there's a second one of those. I feel like Disney could do more. This is literally a Pirates of the Caribbean full campaign. The Sea of Thieves, eh? Bring me that horizon. This is Square Conference? No, Square's conference starts... Square Enix conference starts in 30 minutes. How's it going? Let's do this! This looks so good. 
If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's This done. looks so good! Time to call a friend! Order! What the? Happy birthday! Bro, this looks so good! Hey, what's poppin'? How you been, dawg? What's good? What's good? Then we got Battlefield uh, getting a new reveal. Incoming fire! Microsoft has really became uh, macro hard. <laughs> I think this game will truly uh, sink in for me once I see like a dev sit down with Battlefield. Would I play it? Maybe. I haven't played like a shooter heavy since like college, so who knows? Yeah, I need a player sit down. So I can see the FPS and how uh, this can, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just need to see more of this game. Let's forget about Battlefield Drop. Yeah. Bad Company 2 literally had a hold on my life. A hold on a nigga life. Halo also looks really good as well. Yeah, this is Battlefield. I think it's called Battlefield 2044. Hopefully that's not when the game comes out. Epilepsy. 2042. That's it. I got the date wrong. I thought it was like Cyberpunk 2077 or some shit like that. So, how was your day? Oh, you know. This game was whatever. Seems artsy fartsy and eclectic, which is nice, but I would never play this game. Police. For your father's murder eight years ago. What's going on? This Shut game up. already came out? <laughs> Didn't it? Time I could have sworn I've seen this game before. I'm out of patience. What? I know I say this a lot, but I love you. I say this a lot too, but back at you. 12 minutes. August 19th. August is stacked, dog. Psychonauts. I can't believe I'm really here. Definitely excited Psychonauts. for this, actually. I'll Look fuck with platformers. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. I'm ready for anything. Definitely fuck with this. Time for justice. The fate of the free-thinking world is in your hands. 
Uh, once again, if anybody's joining in, I'm right free. now we are waiting for the Square Enix press conference to start in 25 minutes. We're just re-watching the Xbox press conference. That means I really love this shit right here. I love, like, good... I just want something, like, unique. Like, something like this stands out. Psychonauts Ratchet, bro. I love me a good platformer. Yeah, all in all, I think it's a very solid showcase from Xbox. This is a mission about the fate of the world. Can you do that? Yes, if I can find some bacon. I'm going to ignore that last part. Worst Fly Cooper? Wrong company? August again! August is stacked! This is usually the moment when I say hello and welcome to the Bethesda E3 showcase. We love that we can share the stage with Xbox this year. And whether you've known Bethesda for 35 years or are just Do getting you guys to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the August latest is. on your favorite games. We started this and showcase with Alfina. my good friend Todd Howard, who gave you a first look at Starfield. Along with Bethesda Game Studios, all of our teams are continuing to work on the projects that have been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the Man games Hunter, I don't know who the fuck that and is. hoping for are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more Bro, titles to Game Pass. all of this is coming to Game Pass. For a total of 30 Bethesda games. That includes several id Software games, like the award-winning Doom Eternal. If you're looking for another reason to play it, Doom Eternal will be optimized for Xbox Series X and S on June 29th. He has Redfall shirt on? Powered by Does he? Tech, this next-gen upgrade will be free for everyone who owns Doom Eternal. No, bro, I am Series playing X, no more heroes. It will heroes. offer improved visuals at 60 FPS with ray tracing, a 4K mode, and an optional performance mode up to 120 FPS. Or maybe you're in the mood for an RPG like Skyrim, which marks its 10th anniversary this November. We can't celebrate it without you, so share your Game favorite Skyrim memories, bro. stories, artwork, Do people and more realize how, bro. on Skyrim10.com. Or no more here. It's gonna be fire. Ever changing. I don't think I'm nervous. It's gonna be too short. Thick wasteland. It's gonna be Fallout so short. 76. Everything you love about Fallout games. Custom I don't care about Fallout. Building, rich storylines, game pass, get us factions, a cheat code. Unique characters, places to discover. You'll find it all here. In fact, Fallout 76 is now one of the most popular games on Game Pass, thanks to an incredibly welcoming and collaborative community. Here's a look at what's coming next in Fallout 76. This was kind of a snooze fest right here. This was kind of like a dry dull moment. The whole Fallout 76 shit. Brotherhood of Steel are the guardians of human civilization. Bill Gates looking up before the board finalized. Fort Atlas is safe. It came at a great cost. Why nerds always wear t-shirts with suits and jackets? United. The they gotta make sure that they, they stand out. This I'm not the typical businessman. I'm a businessman, but I also like an embodied fun. You know? Gotta show you my taste on my Your chest. Ew, that's, that's a weird shit. sentence. The most gotta thing show you my taste on my chest. And returning them home. Eh, we'll roll with it. So it comes to this. It's always the gamer tee, the blazer, and then the jeans. Followed by either casual footwear or sketchers. You are no paladin of the Brotherhood. I set this plan in motion, and I am the only one who can stop it. The Brotherhood of Steel must protect the future of Appalachia and of the world. Your righteous crusade has gone too far. While it may seem that we are fractured, I believe that we are now stronger than ever. This is a choice. It's the best word thing. That can never be. Undone. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Steel rain. Is anything happening on the 14th? What the hell was that? Expedition Squad Delta, report. Over. Squad Delta, what's going on out there? 
I'm checking the schedule real quick. This is funny. I know you can hear me. Monday, we got Capcom and Take Two. So Monday is just Capcom. Capcom and Take Two Interactive. Fair enough. The pit. The Wasteland isn't the only open world playground with an amazing community. The Elder Scrolls Online from Zenimax Online Studios and has now surpassed new, uh, Elder Scrolls content players for MMO and for those who guys are no hyped for it. Slowing down. Right now, our players are enjoying the new Blackwood chapter, part of the Gates of Oblivion year-long adventure. We've got a lot more to come in ESO, yeah, this was kind including of a low moment. the conclusion to this epic story Skill? later this fall with ESO Deadlands. And with the release of ESO console and Hold up, wait. I'll skip if it's unanimous in chat to skip, you know? Take the opinion to XCOM. <laughs> Blackwood. Of course. It's a new world with new rules. Now nothing. What should call it? Uh, animal, animal In this party. Battle, we'll take a new breed of fighter. Wait. Uh. Or party animals. Definitely seeing Rhyme, Danny, Dotto. There's an alleged uh, XCOM Marvel game. Balvin played it. Balvin has already played this, actually. I'm pretty sure this game's already out. I'm pretty sure I've seen Balvin play this already. Yeah, it's out already. I think the announcement is it's coming to Game Pass, right? Yeah, it's coming to Game Pass. So for a dollar, you can also play this game. Hades also coming to Game Pass. This is kind of creepy. What animals beating each other up? Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here. Stupid boy. Try and stop me. Gang beats, not party animals? Gotcha, gotcha. say after you're done playing Hades play transistor that dude ever since Bastion that studio's been in their pocket this game I didn't care about like this game was looks like that apocalyptic game but like the family's trying to escape it what is Bastion Bastion was like their first game it's almost like an isometric uh it's kind of harder, but it was like one of their first breakout games. Little day to year. But Debbie Worker meant Transistor. Oh, every time I think of Transistor, I get angry because then I realized that Indivisible was going to have DLC where you could play as the chick from, Red, uh, from Transistor. I'm tight. Why do I remind myself of these things? Why do I continuously hurt myself? 
All I wanted out of this E3 was Halo Infinite, Battlefield. Oh, you, well, you got it there. You, they hit every single G spot for you. Fuck Mike Z. Indivisible also on Xbox Game Pass. Bro, probably my favorite game of the last couple, oh uh, yeah, of last year, not last year, 2019. This holiday if I start saying last year, I meant 2019. 2020 doesn't exist to me. <laughs> Hold up, let me go back. And we are, let me see. 15 minutes, 15 minutes. All right, hold on. I want to. Oops, didn't want to do that. To unpack from 20 Boom. years. That's how long Xbox has been with us. And like you. I want to see the Xbox shit. Where's it? Where, not Xbox, the Microsoft shit. Where is it? Where is it? Hello. First, you Here can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. And on Xbox Series X, you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action at up to 120 frames per second. Finally, I'm very happy to announce that Halo Infinite's first free-to-play multiplayer season and Infinite's story-driven campaign will launch together this holiday. What makes 2020 a cool? Staying inside us. and not interacting with anybody. A new generation <laughs> built to fight. Together, we are unstoppable. You would die in Chronicle. That was the RPG. No scope. I need an Xbox. The great, the best thing about uh, Game Pass, if you got a PC, you already have it. Killing spree. Bro, when he grappled the gun Hello. to himself, some damage. He grabbed, bro. Grapple check. Claim the enemy flag. Return it to base. Bro, the grappling shit. Ordnance drop inbound. This is old school Halo, baby. The flag is ours. Please call at your earliest convenience. We're also gonna hail live stream bad. I think that's that's gonna be beneficial. Just for a deep fight. Cause they didn't really like sink their teeth into this game. They're kind of just giving us like a super cut of everything. Now, show me what you can do. Halo Infinito. Which one was this again? Evil I think this is Diablo. Has survived. A dark figure wanders in the east. Uh. He must. Square be Enix in eleven minutes. Diablo to remake. Battlefield the same year. Yup. Do I need to play the first one to play Diablo 2 Remastered? No. 
They're all own. They're all kind of like their own thing. It's like saying like, do I need to play Overwatch One to play Overwatch Two? You know. care about life lore uh honestly cat both the same thing if you care about life, like you spend a great deal of your life doing that too this may be our let's talk about how afro's only came because you're getting paid what's wrong with getting paid greatest moment I want to be inserts. Yeah. The isometric. I've been I've been enjoying like isometric games for a bit. These things. This game also looks really interesting. Where this little ratatouille from? uh from all of Equinox us? game. What's it called? From what we do to him. Ratatouille equilibrium? It? I don't know. But he's my brother. He's playing Final and Fantasy 14 right now. For the Square Enix event, seems on brand. Yeah, that's literally just a sea of rats. Overwatch has lore? Yeah. The lore is nobody gets on the payload. <laughs> Ratatouille Equilibrium. Ratatouille. Well, there's like an E word. What's E word? Ratatouille Requiem. There we go. Okay. Well, I was way off. <laughs> All right. How much time we have left now? Eight minutes. Okay. Before, before, I'm going to go ahead and skip this next game because this game was literally a waste of time. The Brood. This game really looks good. Replaced also look really good. Would you play Overwatch Story Mode? IDK. IDK a boot that. But I'm starting to like this new uh, Octopath's Traveler shit. I have a feeling in the future, we're gonna start seeing a lot of games like this. Bro, the, bro, this looks hot. Get ready for a new war. Why is he 2D? It's a 2D game with 3D elements. You and I Chronicle Rising. I wish we had new Splat content, actually. We actually might see Splatoon content. Tuesday? Tuesday. I thought today was Monday, but today is Sunday. Jeez, my You have shown an aptitude for applying lethal solutions to conflicted situations. All right, before we, wish to test your abilities. we got eight minutes still. Golden Sun kicked it off. I feel like it was truly like popularized with Octopath because it had that level of like, I don't know, next gen quality, if that makes any sense. The lighting was really good. But Golden Sun definitely needs its flowers. For sure. History is all around us. What game was this? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Those who made it this game's bum ass. This is like some. Finish. This is like some mobile phone game Some shit. Make the serenity. This, I'm hyped for Outer Worlds 2. Game? I am hyped for Outer Worlds 2. No. Say goodbye to it forever. Suddenly, and for no reason, people running. <laughs> people running. These pointless slow motion shots make everything seem cool and should bolster pre-sale numbers. It should bolster pre-sale numbers. But war sound can mean only one thing. We must gaze over an epic shot of a world and there should be lens flares. Now we see our hero, but only their silhouette because the developers haven't finished the design. Bro. Or finished the story. Or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show. Fact, Bro. The only thing they have finished is the title. Bro! I don't want to got the best trailer. By far. Slowly panning out. People running. All right, so we have Plane Simulator followed by Car right Simulator. Real Mexican skies at 12K. Re Guys, ready to race around in under authentic Mexican skies? You could do it here in Forza. Vision accuracy using photogrammetry data captured on location atop an active Mexican volcano. The entire world has been recreated at this level of detail. And here's Sierra in her favorite off-road buggy. The volcano Sierra and friends are exploring is the highest point ever in a Horizon game. Also, keep in mind you guys are watching this on stream, me watching it at 1080p. If you really want to see this game in true beauty, watch it on your own and watch it in 4K. And thanks to the power of the Xbox Series You're going to see literally Rockier every single pixel hit your eye, pussy. We can see for miles in every direction. 12 minutes. Yes. Now this game right here, there's one more thing. One more. Take one a look more thing. at this brand new We're not original calling it IUC. game from the Arcane team I at you Bethesda, that the studio that created Prey and Dishonored. Arcane created something new for them, an open-world immersive shooter that you can play alone. Things are going to get easier. Oh, but everyone, I'm gonna have to take you apart again. Hey, Dove, anything interesting? Yes, this too. Bro, this game looks really interesting. I'm assuming it's gonna be four player co op against vampires. So, uh, that was fun. I don't care, I'm mating her. Would y'all own a robot? Yeah, we all have phones. I'm mating her. I don't care if it's four player co-op and everybody's saying I got her. I got her. It's not. If you look like her, hit my line. Hey, asshole. Brody. Oh my God. Please, please, please God. Hold on, I need to, I'm gonna send this to God. I'm gonna ask God if, she, if he could like 3D print her. Please God. I think Square Enix is starting soon. 
three minutes. Wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. It's just cool to see. I think I'm about to start like, any moment. Hey, this is pre-alpha. This, this is early. 128 players in, on next gen, and I believe it's 64 on previous gen. Moon, but it's, it's what did cool Xbox have? Halo. Uh, they, they had some really cool uh, 3D pixel-esque game. The uh, they showed off a new type of uh, All right, guys, vampire shooter game. Now. We have three minutes, Battlefield. Maybe just a tad left. Final thoughts on this conference. We gave our best to show individual game picks. We talked about a lot of games, although there were some. Where is the Square Enix? Time to cover all of them. We talked about Game Pass. But just this conference over. Great job. <laughs> okay. Did not. I was like, hello? So, you know how we talk a lot about how conferences have. Like, is it kind starting? Of a mid this did not have that. This has okay, like two minutes. Okay. Like, oh, well, we're getting ESO you know, updates, the, like Sea of Thieves updates, and like maybe if you don't care about those games as a service, you know, that's something that's a little bit slower. However, even those still had really neat updates. Like the editing was good, the conversations around them were good, and they're always like put with other very exciting things. I think Psychonauts wasn't, we've been waiting on Psychonauts the for a break. A job of like opening the show, like finish the trailer. Starfield. Great I don't know if we'll do it justice in a like, minute. Cool, it's probably gonna be at the end, right? It's gonna be the one worth it. It's thing. literally like a minute. No. Fall back! People need to know what happened. Wait a with me. Get me on the roof now. What's poppin', Vixen? How you been? What's good? What's good? Oh, Jacob, don't even mention it. Revenge! Now or never! What's poppin', Lysha? What's good? What's good? Bloody hell! God, she's what? perfect! Ow! Jacob, there's something! That one goes through every time. Oh, shit. Dev's gonna love this one. How you been, Vixen? How you been? I think a minute has passed. Hold up. Yeah. I didn't see it, but there's so that means there's more all right, chat moving forward. So that's about all the time we have before. Sai was oh, what? Locked again. Hello, there's still tons more coming up today. Hi, but right now, so about my homework on with the Square Enix. Showcase. I set everything up for you. Hello. All right, let's get it popping. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Also, I'm waiting to see what you hear. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Mercer here, and I'm back as your host of Square Enix Presents. Today, we have a special E3 edition of the show for you, with new game announcements, updates, and exciting news from our studios across the globe. So let's kick off with the world premiere of a brand new game from Eidos Montreal. I'm listening. We hope you enjoy the I'm show. I'm listening! I do so. I am so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? This is this is uh the, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Of Get, I heard it's an XCOM game. I heard it's an XCOM. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No, Rocket. So I let Groot. Wait! Hold on! Hold on! Fine. We appear to be 6,963 Hold on! I know, we clearly need a plan. If you see anything with claws inside the grass, Wait! You know, got this. <laughs> Can you switch? Can you switch between them? Can you switch between them? I you like, I like how no. waves! Keep your pants on. Although, it could be used as a distraction. Send him off, Dredge! 
Meet your maker! We're all professionals here, right? Maybe we can work something out. Here! You had one. Bro! I did exactly what! Brody! Oh, you only play Star Lord! It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitments. I just think of Shrek for we this song. This, uh, this looks good! I like uh, Rocket's fucking Odin beard. Some more, right? Oh, they got the bits! Where did they get the lava from? Bro, they starting off with bangers! No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. <laughs> Wait! No! <laughs> October is stacked! Hi, my name is Olivier Prou, senior producer Wait, here at Idos this Montreal. Might, For the past few all years, that, we've had the privilege that whole trailer was better than the Xbox press conference. Of the I'm Galaxy. going to be Can honest. Imagine it into a single-player, story-driven, third-person action adventure game. It's our own fresh take on the Guardians, and something that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. As Star-Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action as you try to lead this band of misfits. But today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. Right, let's do this. I've always loved Marvel's cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I yes, went back with you the did. help of Bill Roseman, the editor, and kind of cherry-picked characters from Marvel's Pass me past. a wing. The opportunity here was to build a team, but to make it all underdogs, so that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team going to survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved working on. I it remember looks good. the first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal, we were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head, it was a minute. I was like, oh my God, like they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Ados Montreal share and have in common, and that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Ados were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic, and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the Guardians are constantly around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the Guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, I do! The decisions you'll make will have lighthearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react this to what you This looks really good! The more no-killing teammates! Says who? It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitment. Yeah, my dad came back for me. <laughs> you are playing as Star-Lord, and you're using your blasters, and you're using your jet boots. Star-Lord is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his elemental blasters that have different powers as well. And on top of all of this, this he can good. use the unique abilities of his guardians. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No! The story is about a group of misfits, the guardians. In our world, they've been together for Less than a year, they create something on a small scale that looks insignificant. And as they progress through the story, they discover that they created something really big that threatens the galaxy. There are a lot of very interesting villains in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well-known, but some that are also not all that well-known. What I is I'm trying so to be that bone typo. It's is all good. Capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. They're also bringing an amazing imagination. This looks gonna good. Planets and characters that are going to blow your mind. Interpreting it in good. its own I don't way, care I think, for makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians out of that. They made it fun. They what made are you eating? Roll. 
they delivered everything you would want Chicken. in a Guardians game. I can't. Can, I, can you guys see that? Yeah, this is good. That's good. Steadily aroused. <gasps> They're going to play it? Bro, I love Rocket's Odin beard. They're giving this game a lot of uh, showtime. 37 units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. What about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always a out on us, My well. figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. I will sacrifice your head. Wait! The majestic yeah. Wait! Wait! Guys. So you have to, like, manage your team? Wait! we should hear our group for once. Xbox Cat. You know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. This is actually and you good! You're not a monster. Groot, are you really offering to. No, no, he is not. Offering. This is like Mass Effect. Okay. Like, it could work. Managing no, your crew? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. <laughs> I hope so, Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will His soul yeah, is well, filthy and filled I with rage. For not. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Sell well, Groot? Well, definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we uh, we get it. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into it. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of his ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. <laughs> flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. You guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's You're just coming. get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my My sister made fried chicken. Costume. There is no such thing. This looks good. Hey, the fact you ain't sure. Y'all horny? So good. Welcome to Twitch. Whoa, that is some really crazy It's just a plate of salad there. and she makes uh, chicken and um, uh, macaroni. suicide is what it is. I am remarkably wet. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Fine, take it. Take it. Strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. You are welcome, Feeble One. We got this. This reminds me of that one world in um Star Wars, uh, the Fallen Jedi. What the fuck? Is everyone okay? We should have gone to Maku 4. Fall in order. There we go. What the hell was that? Jello? I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Relax! It's not alone. Get ready. Things. They are amorphous vermin. Shoot first, first. It's Jello Pudding Pop. Oh wait, they got like Devil May Cry. Wave! No, the combat looks sick. Meet your maker. Feel 
boys enjoying this way too much. This is the local fauna. It's about to be an endangered species. Look out, Audi! Oh, you rocket! Time to go boom! So this is like a final. This is the Final Fantasy 15 we never got. This is the Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Dead end. That this is the right. Guardian's retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other this side. This is the I Final Fantasy 15 you game. Do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down. He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No. Very well. Peter. It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. Uh. I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut busting! Oh I shit! And look at the top. They got like them shits like uh Rocket has remembered that shit. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by five percent. I want ten. Okay, deal. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, Scott again. Hear that? Uh guys. Why does Star Lord look like a, a YouTuber? Ah, oh, they got these little pussy monsters again. These creatures are perfect predators. Stop cheering for the murder monster! Star Lord Adult Nano? Bro, this looks so good! This looks so good! Is anything on this planet not trying to kill us? Guys, huddle up! Oh, Team O? Wait! What the fuck? Wait! Don't get too close to that map. This guy barely feels it. Yeah, I see. Come on, boys, we got this. Perhaps these were sent by Lady Helen. Well, she can change. How come monsters are never friendly? Brody! Definitely my top ten fortresses. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you blue? Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the Flark thing was looking like we mean business. Alright, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. Oh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside. I like the so I like the decision. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. Bro, I love this shit. You hang tight there, bud. Delegating the your team. Comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad. Not bad. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. We got this! Brody! Nah. 
This is this is it. This is it. Rocky, what are you doing? I also like the Devil May Cry like combo meter. What well, I meter? Mean, there's a combo meter on the left hand side. Like it was saying, like fantastic or like amazing God as you're like juggling fantastic. enemies. How many times do I have to kill you? The audacity that you thought you could rob me, Dweller! Feast upon them! I am most definitely wet. Do they have a press? Wait, do they have a stadium? Now we're going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. First up, relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series. Oh, wait! Uh, one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its June 24th launch. Oh, Legend of Mana. All right, well, I don't mind this. Wait. I want to see how this remake looked like. Let me see the remake. Up next, Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend the world in Marvel's All Avengers. right, I'm going to keep it a bug. The team at Crystal Dynamics is excited I'm gonna keep it a to share bug. the latest updates. They're going to have to do a lot to bring this one around. Growing roster of heroes. I'm going to keep it a bug. This one, I don't know about. Avengers, secure that super weapon at all costs. Cosmic energy is building up. Every second counts, people. Keep it moving. Yikes. Beautiful. You're Wait, the gameplay? Death. Don't let the gameplay fool you. Shutting you down, Monica. The world doesn't need it. Aim will save this place. I will save it. There is no end to these crumbs. You don't understand what that cube is capable of. Yeah. What is that, Psylocke? Don't let that game fool you. Chat, please. We can't not play it. I applaud your efforts to connect with your roots, but... 
is a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall. I must warn you of a few things. Many eyes follow the path you are about to walk down. Wait, he got brain? It is claw. No. This is not a Black Panther game. This is just him in the Avengers game. <laughs> I will not, I will not be swayed by these trailers. Yeah, I'm good off this. I will not be swayed. Now it's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be available in the coming months. All right, don't mind me while I eat my food. Good evening, 420. Enjoy. Our intelligence reports a new threat to global stability. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, you were selected because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. We will strike from the shadows. I'm tempted. Listen, bro. If you were down to go to a buggy them. game, good luck. They had on patches. A sad and beautiful tale that echoes throughout eternity. The first mobile entry in the Near series. Near reincarnation. I think this is a battle royale mobile game. I'm pretty sure it is. Lonnie, what's good? What are you eating? Uh, salad. Today, the team at Platinum and my sister Games made uh, fried chicken and mac and cheese. The epic world of Babylon's Fall, featuring oh, wait. combat, powerful weapons, and a unique art style. I'm here for this. I'm here for this. That's the meal. Oh, I'm living life right now. Built. I over a thousand I think this years, game is gonna be fire. It was meant it to is. be a I tried to close beta before kings. I opened it up. But for a thousand more, it was seen as a tower of ruin. Persevering through fire and ice and the coldest of winds. Eventually, the tower became a symbol of unrelenting ambition. That tower's name is Babylon. Does the savior of Neo-Babylon stand among us? 
Let's find out. Why is that like a Black Clover fan? Ado. Do you want to watch a new season? If I'm to die, then I'll die for Bro, hope. one thing Square Enix is gonna body is the fucking OST. Seen through the veil at last, have you? We're all prisoners of our subjective reality. Believe only what you see, and you like to end up seeing only what you believe. They hit, they hit that! They hit the vocal! Not but two parts lag ahead. Ascend to the heavens above the tower. Oh, so, like this one now, before you. Now begins its tale of both hope and despair. Near Automata Tomatoes! Well, this game is really an action in the world of 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 the world コンセプトについてはまあプレイヤーがえーとまあ途切れない目標に向かってえーとアクションえーまあ追い求め続けることができるとプレイヤーはまあストーリーを追いながらダンジョンをクリアして上層を目指していくと入手する装備やプレイヤーの自身を強化してカスタマイズしていくスタイルとしてはまあオーソドックスなハックスラッシュという形ですただアクションがスキルや強い力を引き出すためのトリガーになっているところがまあポイントかなと思ってます。プレイヤーの背中についているギデモコフィーというのがかなり気合アイテムとなっています、まあ、それによって、えー、と遊び方とかカスタマイドの方向性っていうのも変わってきますハイファンタジー感というかその上品さというところはすごい意識してくれというふうに言われましたねカープンチックにならないようにというか、まあ、リアルに本当に存在している人たちがいるかのような感じは意識しましたこのゲームは運営型のゲームとして開発しています発売後も定期的に新しいコンテンツを提供する予定ですようやく皆さんに改めてこういった形で発表できたのが本当に私たちも嬉しくなってますしまさにこれから開発の活況が終わってあの精一杯頑張っていきたいので皆さんも引き続き応援よろしくお願いいたしますあ、it is only for PS5 and PS4 Now, let's check out the next major entry in the popular Life is Strange series, True Colors. The team at Deck Nine is ready to give you a deeper I don't, look at I'm Alex Chen's psychic I don't care about Life is Strange. But first, here's a look at the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. Feels so weird to be back. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. What do you remember about us as kids? I think about us as little pirates <laughs> running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! Life is a tumbler? This is definitely Thunderwear. Come on, let's dance! Wait, Thunderwear or sounds hard. Take a new camera. <laughs> we both got scars and it's so hard to That's Rachel Amber. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Oh, good, you're here. Rachel saved my life. She was my angel. Something happened to her. We have to find her, Max. Oh, 
Holy shit. There's a whole I Max, what's going on? Let's be honest. I discovered I could reverse time. What the hell is this? Max, help! Whatever's going on between us is special. This is the vibe? Step back before you regret it. Ben, Max! Then I realized I had a choice and the power to change everything. Arcadia Bay is on the edge of disaster. Time to change time. Whatever happens, I'll always have your back. Bro. Always. I'm good off. I'm good off this whole next segment. Moon Monkey Sleep. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maya, also known as MXM Tune. I'm a musician and the singing voice of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange True Colors. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. As a longtime fan, I know I did. You can see the love and care that Deck Nine have put into remastering both Life is Strange and Before the Storm. This collection features improved character animation, lip sync, and visuals, breathing new life into these two beloved games. Back in March, we also revealed the next major game in the series, Life is Strange True Colors, a small town supernatural mystery. Alex Chen must uncover the truth behind her brother's death, using her psychic power of empathy to unravel the shocking secrets of Whoa, Hidden Springs. The power of Today, empathy. Today, we have a first look at Alex's unique power in action. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. Alex's psychic power of empathy is integral to the story of Life is Strange True Colors. It impacts every relationship she builds and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been Was unable to shut out the strong feelings of others. <laughs> the fear, sadness, and anger of those around her. Leading her All these games just feel like lifetime movies, dog. In the wake of Gabe's death, Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. I can't believe this is happening. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. From the very start, you can use Alex's power to focus on brightly colored they are. auras to gain an insight into people's emotions. He was too young. Just too young. These valuable insights deepen Alex's relationships with the folk of Haven Springs, as well as sparking new dialogue options and events, as here from a scene very early on in the game. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Alex has uncovered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from his long-term girlfriend. And now he is terrified that Alex will reveal it before he can talk to Riley. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. Listen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. But are we still together? Are you serious? Are we still together? I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can reach out to actively connect with that person's emotions. This generates a Nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and memories to get to the root of their issue. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's dead! I wish I were too. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could kill her. What if... Can you play this game I so you can choose every worst option in it? Wait! <laughs> Using Alex's power is the only way you can uncover the truth behind her brother's death. What would that do to her? What are you going to do to me? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? How far will you go in pursuit of that truth? The choice is, is yours. The choice is yours! 
Alex's powers look so awesome. I have no idea how I'll make some of these choices, but I can't wait to play it with you all when it comes out on September 10th. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors now. True Colors! And if you colors. choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange social channels for more. Life is mid. <laughs> And now, we are excited to unveil a brand new title from Square Enix Japan. Brand new title, let's go! Y'all need some mystery all in your life? Oh, I had a lot of mystery. I'm here to kill chaos. <laughs> Wondering when That's I'm gonna forget about that game. <laughs> Team Ninja. <laughs> Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. Nick is going there and find you? Hello. Guess we'll just show ourselves in. Hello. I only know one. Hello. Thing. I want to kill chaos. I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's Hello. Thirst. Move aside. You're dust. <laughs> Your chaos is here. Yeah, they can only squash monsters for so long. I hate doing pest control. This is the shrine of chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. Feel the pain. The darkness is so thick I can taste it. I swear that's this is it. No it doubt. It sound like him. Die already. Did that nigga the heck about that nigga in the there mouth? There was a knight who left on the same journey as you but never returned. His name was Garland. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Chaos. I'll crush you! No when you're beaten! And who are you? Devil May Fantasy? We're here to kill Chaos. The prophecy's very own warriors of light. Real. He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying. To it's Garland. No, I become chaos. <clears throat> what game is this? Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. A bold new vision. Demo available on PS5? Let's go! I'll leave you with a look at some of the amazing Square Enix titles you can play now, as well as those to come. All right, Final Fantasy Remake. We'll definitely be playing this in a bit. the bearer of bad news, but... Just hit me with it. I'm gonna drop plate number seven. They're gonna do what? I need to see this game. This game was hot. Word. They show off 16 in a montage. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. I'll call you. Thank you for joining us today. Keep an eye out for news about our next Square Enix Presents. I'm Matt Mercer. See you next time. Next time. IGN Summer of Gaming has officially partnered with E3 2021 for the ultimate team-up. 
from direct access to the major gaming press conferences at E3 2021 with exclusive gameplay and reveals to exciting first looks at the hottest new games. <laughs> IGN Summer of Gaming has it all. Today is E3 Day 2, and up next, Square Enix is here to hopefully serve up some answers, because we have so many questions. But we get another look at Final Fantasy 16? Actually, uh, hold on, Square Enix. You can't have a new Final Fantasy until you finish the last one you started. Where's the rest of Final <laughs> Fantasy 7 Remake? Which Marvel heroes will Avengers assemble next? Also, Outriders had an explosive launch. Is there a DLC on the way? And hey, what's Lara Croft doing these days? Y'all need to let us know if she's about to raid a tomb soon. Well, if you're looking for answers to these questions and more, the Square Enix E3 presentation is a good. All right, so I think there's one more press event now. We have starting right meow. Well, here we go. I'm pretty sure we have a Warner Brothers event. Hey there, that was the Square Enix Presents E3 presentation right here on IGN Summer of Gaming 2021. I'm Max Scoville and joining me right now to attempt to break down everything we just saw, but more likely to just kind of nerd out about JRPGs and superheroes, please welcome my esteemed colleagues, Mitchell Saltzman, Zach Ryan, and Cam Hawkins. Uh, surprise, we're getting a new Guardians of the Galaxy game in just a few months. This was kind of amazing. They managed to keep this cat from getting out of the bag or rather raccoon, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Who wants to go first? Raise your Real hand. Real quick, is this VOD getting deleted? Yes, but I will <laughs> sure, upload. No, no. I will upload this VOD to my uh piece uh my VOD channel. Yeah, go, go ahead, Mitchell. Go ahead, Zach. No, no, go. Uh, 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 <laughs> Does anybody know where the <laughs> Warner Brothers? So many questions, but we get another look at final. Um, overall. I think this looks pretty interesting. This game um, was heat. This was definitely a little showcase. bit while we were watching the show. I'm not like wild about the character design, but I think that the actual game itself, I think that the dialogue in between the characters is really cool. I'm stoked. I'm, I'm ready for a Guardians game, and I think this could be a really good one. I think yep. another thing that we brought up, just sorry, really quick, is that it kind of gave us like Mass Effect vibes, not in the way that yeah, it was, it was definitely like Mass RPG, Effect, but in the way that there's a lot of banter between the characters, there's a lot of emphasis on choice, uh, there's a lot of uh, in combat, you're telling your squad mates to do different things. So I was all about that. I thought that that seemed really, really cool. Yeah, it's neat. It's kind of got that. Uh... You know, it's it's like Mass Effect with the with what's the sort your of Brady stuff on your YouTube channel? What like you it's, mean? It's you know the Guardians are kind of like the crew of the Normandy, but like a little bit dumber and goofier. So it's kind of a good setup there. Uh, Cam, a lot of people were talking about the designs. What did you make of those? Yeah, I'm I'm not a I'm not a big fan. Uh, I don't like the whole bead beard thing that rock, like Rocky <laughs> Raccoon's got going on. Uh, Gamora is uh, interesting. Uh, e three one already. Uh, Damn, like, another I, zero. I, I'm not super into the different uh, character designs. Like some of them feel a little bit MCU like inspired. Uh, Drax kind of similar to that. Groot looks kind of like that. But 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 to be fair, like some of those characters, you can't really make a whole lot of difference in those characters in a way that like still feels true to their character because they they have a relatively simplistic design. Hey, so I'm, how I'm you not, been? Like, really, Finally like a, got a, a release off, date, but I definitely wish that it was What's good. Everybody different. Mm. I, mm -hmm. I will right there. I will say I'm, I'm really flowers digging, in chat uh, for Taggy. Star Lord's Devil May Cry style jacket. Flowers <laughs> in chat. Very, Bro, very nice. Uh, Psychonauts look really yeah, good. Mitchell, you're, you're a big fan of, of hack and slash and action games. Hey, uh, Nano Raid. What's, what's, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's popping? What's popping? Um, I think for today, I think all we have left is I believe we have a Warner Brothers. Let me hold. Let me check the uh the schedule, making sure we're all on top of this shit. I think as of for today, what's popping, Nano? That so far my standouts. Halo looked really good. Um, I really like that last uh, vampire game they showed off the Microsoft game. Replace looks good. Hi I'm hyped for Auto Worlds too. Um, that Guardians game, literally. Just fill me up. Yeah, Warner Brothers is at 5. And then we have the PC gaming event at 5.30. So right now we're kind of just waiting for the Warner Brothers. They're going to be showing off. Ooh. I don't know if it's going to be just dedicated to uh Back for Blood. But we'll see. Thoughts on Stalker 2? Bro, that looked really good. Stalk hold up. I can go back. We were actually re-watching the trailer. 
I was really liking that. Get Xbox. Hold up. It looked really good. What's good? Let's get a shout out for Nano and Kagi. Chat, what are you excited for? As of right now, Microsoft press conference definitely at the top. Um, I would definitely say Ubisoft next and then Square. Square only really had the Guardians game to show and literally three seconds of like everything else. They had like 30 minutes of Guardian, 15 minutes of Life is Strange, and like three seconds for everything else. Battlefield, I need to see like a dev sit down with Battlefield. Psychonauts, Halo, yeah. Bro, when I saw him grapple the gun to him, Guardian was appointed, I really like, one thing I was, at, I was thinking as you're playing, I, my first question was, can you switch between all of your characters? But it looks like you're just playing a Star Wars. I think I'm really gonna like that game. I also really like this game called, uh, what's it called, Atomic Heat? Atomic Heat looks really good too. What did Ubisoft show? I mean, Far Cry 6. Yeah, I mean, Microsoft also showed Far Cry 6, but you know the vibes. Sick it looks rough. It looks really good to me. The video is too loud. Okay, thank you for telling me because everybody else is just going to allow the video just to bleed out me. Do I sound better? I'm ready for Black Panther. I'm not playing that Avengers game. I'm not going to let Black Panther entice me to play that game again. Better? It Нужно could be a little more. Hold on. Hello, 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 hello. Better, better. Stalker. Stop, bro. This game looked really good. Didn't realize you were talking, Moon. Ah, huh, that's fine. <laughs> Ubisoft. Oh yeah. All right. So I have a feeling. I have a feeling. We're gonna see you today. I think that game. Hold up. I have a feeling that that Avatar game is going to play like Far Cry 6. I think it's just going to be Far Cry with the Avatar skin on it. I'm glad he told you. Yeah, feel free to let me know if you can't hear me talk, chat. <laughs> Replace looks really good. Hold on, I'm trying to find artwork and end of the world. Uh, I'm not really a fan of like Fallout 6. This game looks like fun to kind of dick around with your homies. Hades coming to Game Pass. Come Another W for right. Game Pass. Uh, honestly, going into like each of these conferences, I was hoping for like something new. You know, I was hoping that like Microsoft's gonna show me like new stuff. And besides like the last IP they showed and probably like Everything else, everything else they announced was games that have already been out now joining Game Pass, which is cool. But I wanted like to see new shit, you know. Forza looks nice, but I'm not a Forza nigga. Not alone in the fight. The main batteries are shut down. We're stuck out here. To be honest, at this point, Game Pass, the rest of the micro. Yeah, honestly, Game Pass is literally carrying it. But literally, like. I want to see new shit because a lot of the stuff coming to Game Pass are games that I've either played already, like the whole Fallout catalog coming to Game Pass. Dope. I already played those games. I don't. It's not really like a selling point for me. I want to see what new games, you know? Halo looks nice. What conference are you actually excited for? I, I was I, honestly, I was excited to see everything here. Like, I was curious to see what they've been working on in these pr essentially two years because. 2020 literally the gaming industry literally just took a hiatus by to kind of work on this shit you know i heard you didn't ha uh, have to yell over square okay okay this looks really good hail looks good For, all right far cry 6 bro All right, but that Ratatouille game was fine, whatever. I like Square Enix. They really didn't show much. I'm happy that they're remaking uh, Final Fantasy 16 in HD. I fuck with that. 
I recognize that voice. Redfall. Yeah. I, Let me ask you my question. only thing with Redfall, I don't know how the game is going to play. You know, I don't know if it's going to be four man co op taking on fucking vampire hordes. What's well, popping colors? How you been? I don't know if that's going to be single player. You choose your characters. I don't know. It's just a CGI trailer. I'm literally falling Man, in love with that. Uh, replace looks good. Yeah, I love the combat in this. Um, I don't know how that game's gonna be, but I like the premise. I fuck with the premise. Any other games you guys are happy to see? God, I hope we see Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, maybe a teaser. I'm assuming we're probably gonna see a big chunk of Splatoon 3, I guess. I want to see what other games Nintendo has been working on. Bro, now, bro. This is Toasty here, by the way. Toasty. It looks amazing. Like, I like the fact that it's like Mass Effect where you can kind of delegate your team. It's literally Final Fantasy 15, how you have like your other uh, people in your crew and you could delegate to do like team combos or like delegate to do like certain attacks. Gardens might be the superior Final Fantasy 15. Tell me why it kind of looked like Monster Hunter. Bro, I am amped. Toasty Genix. The first year of grounding. In case you guys didn't know, Toasty's actually These Nano's Cortana. <laughs> Everything's ass this year. I gotta see more because I love Guardians. It looked too slow. It looked like it had like a lot of uh it looked slow because they were slowing down time for like tactical shit, but we'll see. Carlos, did you see anything that was uh that piqued your interest for E3? Same for you, Natsu. Let's get a shout out for Natsu. How you been? What's good? good? Everything was ass this year. This game's whatever. Among Us, over it. This game actually looked pretty interesting. Apparently, no. There was 16. You probably blinked and missed it, but it wasn't a montage. 16 showed for all of two seconds. Yeah, it was it was montage the fuck up. Bro, I don't get how people can cast a Microsoft con Bro, I feel like Microsoft conference. It was like like I said before, like I was expecting to see new stuff from Microsoft, but they literally just spent their whole time showing games that already been out joining Game Pass, which is a cool announcement. I wouldn't mind like a montage, like these games are coming to Game Pass and then they just show boom, 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 boom. And then they focus on new release title games, you know? But I didn't, we only got like a handful of new games. I just want to see new shit. Outer Worlds, I'm excited to see. Outer Worlds 2, I, I'm, I, 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 I'm a fan of the trailer. I'm a fan. You have shown an aptitude for a Gardens are really cool. I like Far Cry 6, mostly, yeah, situation. I'm here for that. I'm here for all, honestly. Yeah, I'm playing Outer Worlds 2 on stream. Wait, so OG Final Fantasy. Game yes, Final Fantasy, I think 1 through 6 is getting a pixel remaster. They're making a... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. They're making an Outer Worlds 3. All right, nobody cares about this. This shit right here. Observe. The best trailer in the Microsoft press conference. Voice. When we see a quiet, peaceful setting. This will make our game seem big and important. Now, something must break the serenity. Will this creature be in the game? No. Say goodbye to it forever. <laughs> will this creature be in the game? Suddenly, and for no, no reason. People running. These pointless slow motion shots make everything seem cool <laughs> bro to pre-sale numbers <laughs> that wah sound can mean only one thing we must gaze over an epic shot of a world and there should be lens flares <laughs> now we see our hero but only their silhouette because the developers haven't finished the design or finished the story or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show Bro! In fact, the only thing they have finished is the title <laughs> Bro! the only thing we finished 
was the fucking title. Outer Worlds 2. I'm excited for this game. Bro, the comedy is going to be top tier for this shit. Uh, I was interested in Halo. Uh, I like Halo. Bro, Halo looks really good. I love the whole grapple mechanic. Best trailer by far. By far. The only thing Guardians could have done. Uh, make it, If they made it co-op, that was the first thing I thought. I thought you could play as Star-Lord, and I was waiting for us to, like, switch to Drax or Gamora for certain shit. But it looks like you are Star-Lord, and, like, your team is, like, your arsenal. Oh, oops. And I like the whole, like, Mass Effect shit where, like, you can do or say stuff to your crew members, and then, like, they remember, like, nah, I, I remember when you threw me across the bridge and shit. Like, I wonder how that's going to, like, affect down the line. And here we have it. We not only have Disney's new hit uh, movie, Planes, but in case you missed it, they also have Disney's other hit game, For a drive. Cars. Um, to the next generation of our Horizon. Yeah, I, I was off this shit. Live servers. Everyone else we see here are real players, and it looks like Maddie has been joined by some other members of the Forza team. I'm not really like a Forza nigga. Like Forza, like. I think the only driving game that ever truly grabbed me was probably Need for Speed. Let's leave Maddie for a moment. And this is li li literally this is Breath of the Wild cars. Out to the coast and meet Don. It looks nice. All right, let's be honest. It's not hard to make car games look good. When was the last time you seen an ugly Gran Turismo game? When was the last time you saw an ugly Need for Speed? Car games typically look good. You know. Don is already on the move, exploring this idyllic seaside. Most town. car games look good. This is a recreation. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow, I believe, is Capcom. Capcom and Take Two. Mexico that is honest, authentic, and filled with love. Speaking of, hold up, Don. Oh, hey, what's up? This is a mural by Who Mexican play artist this? Farid Rueda. Just one of. Like, if you want to, like, explore. Listen, listen. As we see members of the team. Bro, what? They were like gas. Bro, this shit right here. And the rest of our players. Here we see our new volumetric lighting system. Chad. Filling the scene with. Hold up, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Head deep into the. Intelligently grab those last. You I'm looking for it. We see our new members of the team. Our players. This are game using is cool. It's a link. The new AI assistant that intelligently tracks the status. All of for DMC6. The people you meet online. And yeah, you're going to have to wait a little bit more for that. Together. We'll now head deep into the rainforest and rejoin Bill and the rest of our players. You got the way a DMC5 just came out and they just came out a remaster with God rays as the sunlight dapples through the dense rainforest. Any other the games Horizon you guys are hyped to see? Is about to start. Forza Link knows that Bill loves mini games. So it intelligently prompts Sierra to invite Bill. Bill accepts and they're seamlessly linked together with You think we're going to be set. able to a uh, romance that, rocket and Groot? mini game starting soon. <laughs> All of our players are coming together. This mini game is called Pinata Pop. Yeah, I, I, listen. By the Horizon Cargo plane listen. Dropping listen. Sure. You know? Like Sierra, Sierra and to the next enjoyed with if, a long show. New Mass Effect game? I don't think a new Mass Effect game is shown off. I do not think. Oh, oh I'm in love. I I I am in love. It's I don't know what that game's I don't know what it's about. Xbox the best place to play. Before I go, there's one more thing. Take a look. It's the way I know you're in love. New original game from the Arcane. Don't mind my dogs Bethesda, fighting in the background. The studio that created Prey and Dishonored. Hold up. Video was one. Boom. Wait for Studios it. Studios is it work on a look at this don't mind my dogs they'll be good take a look at this brand new original game from the arcane team at bethesda the studio that yeah halo's getting a showcase tomorrow and dishonored arcane created something new for them an open world immersive hello so Fun. Oh, I know what he wants. He wants the food. He definitely wants my food. That's your 
you, mate. Sleep tight. Ah. Let's do this. Like, what is this like leading? Boom. Numbers. The amazing con Wait. Wait. Take me back. Take me back. Your own race. Them will be roll sick. And that's be There you go. Boom. And for anybody curious, I will upload this to my VOD channel in case you missed it. I'll probably take it down because I'm not sure how DMCA is going to work with E3 conferences with that uh, new update going around that people are getting like TOS strike that could potentially pretty stream. So I'll take these down immediately, but it'll be up on YouTube. Go on, make yourself useful. Man, I peeped Square's chat. It looked like peak Twitch chat. I could only imagine. So, uh, that was fun, right? I could only imagine. That's your cue, mate. Sleep tight. You know what this reminds me of? My time in the Himalayas. Ready is later, Dad. You think they can't kill you anytime they want? Bro. God, please. Just 3D printer in real life. Please. Co-op squad tactical game? I don't know. But I'm in. She kind of looks like the girl from Beyond Good and Evil. Remember when that game was coming out? Balvin not streaming? He'll definitely have a crackhead stream later tonight. I'm pretty sure. Oh, apparently. Never mind. It's not apparently. The t oh yeah, the uh, the demo for that uh, that Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin game is coming out. Today? You better have a plan, Jacob. Yep. Don't miss. Don't touch me. I'm maining her. I don't oh, care. Everybody else have fun playing everybody else. But I'm playing, I'm maining her. You either gotta be quick on the character select screen to pick her, otherwise, have fun playing everybody else. Jared Little is acting his ass off here. Like, this has to be one of Jared Little's best performances. Literally. He's just ama he's amazing here. Amazing. Fuck, I need to propose to her? I'm maining her in real life. <laughs> I think there's vampire in this really what does it taste like be specific like blood and death. is it actually him no <laughs> Sun's coming up. let's keep moving let's keep moving 
sure thing, Edgar Allan Bro. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you think things will ever go back to normal? Would you want to go back to normal? Not if I still have to pay my student loans. Need it. All right, chat. Um, we're just waiting on. We're waiting on the Warner Brothers shit right now. Day one cop. I'm gonna try my best to find out where the Warner Brothers showcase will be. Let me take a look. Where is Warner Brothers Showcase? It's Warner, I don't know if Warner Brothers is only showing back for blood. All right, hold up. Which sec, which block? E3 schedule brings me here for our right, bet. Um, I'm ready. I guess we'll just have this in the background. So I'll just have that in the background while that happens. Horizon Five and your reaction. Hey, what's popping, Betty? What's going good? Is yeah, like, I'm gonna be. This might be black. Oh, sorry. I I just had my wife here. Sorry. Uh, um. Horizon anyway. Before, but like, um. This I is think. The, the world's biggest. Fan we can just. A lot of different tools you're gonna have to use. Your to wife? The zone. What's wrong? You guys don't have your wife as your desktop. Came and. <laughs> Does anyone not else have their wife on deck? Can you explain the part where they're th you were throwing a, like has a, been, like but honestly, if the Warner Brothers shit is, is only yes, yeah, so essentially you have to have just like things to throw around. If it's only back for blood, it's like picnic called bug traps, and so what it is, your wife, weird yeah, field of, like, they just have to finish rendering her. Once they're done so rendering her, I, I'm I'm going, going to literally show up. up. And it just gets on gets stream shred, with my like, AR wife. So if you, step you mean it's our like, you hour? Hour? So there's like a listen, carefulness to exploring. The listen, world. we're not doing polygamy right now. That, like that danger is so. All right, pleasant. listen. Uh, when I've and, lived and, my and, long and, life and, on we're, my we're deathbed, I will video. release her back into the wild <laughs> for you guys. But while yeah, I'm fine. alive, and so I love that you're gonna really have to wait. <laughs> well, it's not just about the gunplay and how they've adapted it to nah. a, a rather scary looking shooter. Um. You have she's to not cool. yours studio it's not as well recognized she is um, mine <laughs> studios, but that game uh is was very very great uh time to know, overthrow it moon get, it wasn't um <laughs> visually stunning all the time no i will not allow it vague for now but we know what's out there and at least right, somewhat um, likely for how did you feel Just one. i really enjoyed watching this I like the Guardians trailer. Star Lord is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his elemental blasters. You guys will know no tyrannical well. rule better than mine. This, I will rule you with an iron fist. Guardians. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Could be Avengers 2.1. It looks promising. In our world, they've been together for it could be, because we have been burned on Marvel Square Enix games before. On a small scale that looks insignificant. And as the Time to kill the Moon, story, I guess. Discovered kill me if you can. Something really big that threatens the galaxy. There are a lot of very interesting villains. Which was your favorite? I think I missed franchise. it. And when you're starting My to favorite work what? on a story like this, you get to get your pick. Of which ones will make this is just the Avengers for this story. That I'm not getting any type of Avengers vibe from this. Some that are well known, but some that are also not all that well known. Oh, trailer or game? Um, well, was, the game we just saw, Redfall. I, Redfall, so I liked a lot. Outer Worlds, it, I liked a lot. This, this game right like here. Um, family. You're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're gonna see planets and characters that are gonna blow your mind. Tomorrow is Moon Meat Monday. I think makes it feel ah, incredibly fresh. Would be a shame if Moon Meat never it's showed not up. It's trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying I'm about to, to beat the, the dog shit out of you guys like I was a filter mate. Good luck. Guardians out of that. They made it fun. They made it rock and roll. They delivered everything. Moon <laughs> built like Barnacle Boy. Guardians game. <laughs> what else did they show? Remakes of games that came around. Yeah, it came out already.
Right now, we're kind of just waiting on... There's no timer, so I don't know where Warner Brothers... They said Warner Brothers is starting at 5, so we got like 30 minutes or so. 30 minutes or so. Does anyone know uh, why when they uh, make Marvel games, the characters look like Up the next, movies? Earth's uh, mightiest you know, heroes continue their fight. there's also a PC gaming show. That's true. Defend the world and I think that's Marvel's at Avengers. The team at Crystal Dynamics is excited to share the latest updates with you, including new mission types and a growing roster. This of game, I will not let fool me. At the same time, all right, so if Warner Brothers is trash, we will definitely hopscotch between the two. If only you could see this nigga. I, if only you could see him. He he just wants the he just wants the no. I know I know where you're here. I know you're here. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. You don't you don't love me. You don't love me, nigga. Avengers, secure that super weapon at all costs. Hold on, let me see. E3. Oh, no. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this chat. We'll get to the bottom of this. Beautiful. Boom. Let's take a look. All right. So we just saw Xbox and Square Enix. Warner Brothers is at five pum, and PC's at five thirty pum. And it looks like Publisher Warner is going all in on Back for Blood. Uh, they also showcase Turtle Rock Studios, Left 4 Dead. So it looks like it's only they Back for Blood. I will save it. Five pum pum. You guys know the time zones, like not the time zones, you know. Am and then afternoon, everything becomes pum. Huh? We'll see. We'll see how this all goes. We'll see how this all goes. Hey, what's poppin'? Another raid. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Flowers in chat. Let's get a shout out for Kiwi. How you been? What's good? What's good? Did you see anything that interested you? I'm gonna keep it a buck. I saw what I wanted to see for only two seconds. And somehow it wasn't enough. Legend of Mana. I got Final Fantasy VI Remake. So I'm excited I for that. And I got three roots, seconds of Final Fantasy XVI. As a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall. I'm definitely excited for the Guardians game, but I'm very skeptical based off of the Avengers. The path. You are about to Which one? I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> this whole up waits. This game, it's not even game. It's not even game. It's not even a game. It's not even a game. I only have I, I'm a very simple man. But don't Avengers uh and go to, uh I think it's the same team. But I think it's a different studio. I if that makes any sense. Easy, shake my hand. Let's get a shout out for e I, One more month you get that gold sub badge. How you been? Bro, this is the, this is the only reason I'm here. This is the only reason why I'm here. This is the only reason why I'm here. That's it. That's it right here. All I need God to do is grant my one wish. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. Moon, that's our wife. N listen, I, I don't share. I'm a very selfish man. I don't do share. Moon's down bad. I'm up good. I am up good. Me down bad? Anyway, I'm also very excited to play. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I, I'm excited for Outer Worlds 2. Far Cry 6. Slime Rancher. Eh. What game was this? What is this game? Oh, Atomic Heart! This game looks interesting! 
Psychonauts 2, I love platformers. If you guys know anything about me, I love platformers. Currently, I'm playing Ratchet and Clank. That is hitting the backboard of my pussy hard. Straight dunking on it. Psychonauts 2 looks amazing. Cry Kagi, I might have to watch your VOD just to see your reaction. My pussy was Harlem shaking. I'm shocked we got an announcement for Dragon Quest 12, but no news at E3. Makes sense. I love Ratchet and Clank. Bro, my reaction's on YouTube for Psychonauts already. Bet. Kagi, you would also happen. I had a sneaking suspicion watching a certain game. Kagi, could you answer me something? Kagi, could you answer me something? Real quick. Kagi, real quick. Real quick, Kagi. Could you answer me something, Kagi? Every dish. Could you answer me something, Kagi? Could could you answer me something? Whose voice is this? Could you care to tell me whose voice is this? Nah, bro. Who, who is this? Could you care to tell me, Kagi? Kagi, who is this? It's not a hope. Dude, you can't tell me that's not you. Oh, that dude sounds like Vegeta? No, hold up. First. You know what voice I'm talking about, Kagi. Don't play me. <laughs> you sure chaos is here? Yeah, they can only squash my That's not me, bro. Deadass. Chat. Oh, this is the shrine of chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. So Kagi's gonna lie to all of us. How you been, Shogun? How you been? What's good? What's good? The darkness is so thick. That's dead ass Kagi. This is it. No doubt. Good lie, right? He thought he could pull wool over eyes. Bro, that's not me. There was a knight who left on Chat. We have Kagi right here. On the same journey as you, but never returned. His name Doing well. Harlan. Hope you're out. Any but games you're excited? I would be grateful if you looked for him. It's not. Chance. All right, Kagi. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> right now, we're just waiting for the Warner Brothers event and the PC event. We'll be back tomorrow with the Capcom event, and then we'll be up really early on a specific Tuesday to watch what Nintendo has for us. I missed the whole E3 so far, so I'm just like, man. Honestly, this year has been kind of... If I had to put a grade on E3 on a whole this year, I might put like a 6 out of 10 right now. I get it. It makes sense. COVID happened. A lot of studios definitely had a lot of their games, you know, hampered in their progress. So I get that, you know? Who are you? We're here to kill chaos. The prophecy's very own warriors of light. How's that not Kagi's voice? How is this not Kag? Chat. Very own warriors of light. How's that not Kagi? Yes, yeah, Psychonauts 2. Honestly, I'm going to boot that up right now. Hold on. I want to see your reaction. I want to see your reaction. COVID have it over a year. They should have been ready, though. I do understand why it slowed down a lot of stuff, though. Oh, looks like Devin has it on deck. I'm literally crying. Oh, I need to see this. I need to see this. Hopefully, camera, the camera where Kagi put oh, He's on the other side. I can't hear Kagi. Hold up, wait. Playing. Hello? What if I do this? What if I do this? Boom. Boom. What if I do this? There you go. Has your voice gotten deeper? I literally woke up like an- Wait, shut the fuck up! Oh, I'm here for this. It's time! I see him fluttering out the nipples! Let's go! Bro! Bro! I, I'm playing this. Yo, this looks so good. What the fuck? They just, I was in the middle of fight. Justice. Bro. He has not, I've been staring at his eyes. He has not blinked. <laughs> Man, really Kagi's eyes is going at 144 hertz refresh rate. You can't see him blink. My man's. I appreciate it. The free thinking world is in your hands. This looks so good. And they finally gave us a release date. 
dude. Dude. Dude, 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 also, dude. How, what do you guys think about the Sea of Thieves game with the Disney they collab? They still better let people play this on PlayStation. Because uh, for all the people that donated. All the family! I actually... I want to... Honestly, I may not play this game yeah. just to watch Kagi's playthrough of it. If I can find some bacon. Oh, true. Going to I don't play platformers, but this will teach. No, no, it makes sense. See if these yes. Kingdom Hearts 4 Pirate World. <laughs> Dude, I you didn't like so collecting the crabs? Let's go! <laughs> August, baby! August? Oh my fucking God! Do you guys know how stacked August is? Damn near every game announced at E3 is either coming out in October or August. August is fucking stacked. Also, Kagi is losing his mind right here. This is ethereal joy. Ethereal joy. Ethereal joy. If there was a way to bottle this up, I need it. Or 2022 facts. I, a release date. Ah, I've been waiting six years. Date, ha, wait, is, has it really been six years? Has it really been six years? I need my pussy to be dry heaving like that. Oh my god, I'm at the verge of tears. I need my pussy to be dry heaving like that. If they ever showed me a banjo or conquer game, it would be like that. Over ten years since the first game? That's sickening. Need someone to love me the way Kagi loves Psychonauts? Martyr, I'm here. All of our teams are continuing to work on the project. we join the Xbox family. Hold up! I'm gonna oh, wait! I need to like this on my VOD account and my main account. <laughs> the gasping! Oh, uh, uh, bruh, that's good. <laughs> That's you know, really good. Person action. Everybody is super Before All we right. start today, I just want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video. John Tron? Hello? Interesting. On the battlefield, and if you choose the wrong, uh, the wrong, uh, the wrong uh, speech. Uh, yeah. Anyway, chat, what do we do in the meantime? Do we watch bad E3 uh, cringe compilations uh, in the meanwhile? Do you, you want to do that? We do have the PC gaming event no in about you, uh, Peter kind of 48 that, minutes. That's the idea. Dude, I ignored literally <laughs> most of Bethesda <laughs> because they reacted to Psychonauts. This sort of illustrates how much... The They're so are, bad. Uh, cringe much. compilation. Let's cringe it up, baby. Let's cringe it up. All right, let's see. What do we got today? All right, we just finished. Oh, we were midway through this. Kill a monkey. Why wouldn't you? Let's get it. Let's get it. We will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early. The Last Guardian is real. It's real. It's okay. It's okay. What's up? How are you guys doing? Hi. First of all, I'd just like to say that these mics are fucking dumb. <laughs> and I feel like an idiot wearing it. Don't act like you don't wear those during sex every look single night, my friend. Look at this. Look at you. You guys look great. Come on. Thank you. You, you look like you're going to take my order. I want french fries. <laughs> Bro. I know a lot of you out there. I know. Konami has a very infamous, very infamous uh, cringe press conference. Probably up there. To play our next big title, Madden NFL 16, when it launches on August the 25th. Go Madden. But with the and we wanted to celebrate by giving rare fans an iconic collection of rare games. Just make a good game, please. <laughs> this one is from Day Jack at Ubisoft at the Crew Game at Twitch. That game trash. <laughs> Wait! Did anyone vet these questions? <laughs> Wait! Wait! She read that live on stream. That dirt racing. Shit. Wait. <laughs> Are we allowed to say? Shit? What? I challenge you to a dance off live. What? Stream Wednesday at the tippy top of that building right there in the UPlay Lounge. It's going to. Here we go. 
So we're only a few minutes away from show time. Okay, so this next title is fantastic. It's a console exclu exclusive. To reintroduce The Last Guardian with first ever seen. Camera guy, you good? Gameplay footage on PlayStation 4. Read the sound. His hands are tired. Thank you. Jesus Christ. It was like, all right, him. And then everybody with every single camera in the audience. Just like, zoom on him. Zoom on him, please. E3 King. Yes. E3 Cringe. Are you guys excited about it? Yeah. It's weird because you don't seem like you are. Yeah. And also, right. I just feel like these I, mics that, it's the mics that are just, yeah, it's the mics are throwing us, but just okay. Yeah, we don't know what to do with our hands. <laughs> Pockets <laughs> or inside your pants. Right. Uh, I read that you guys, after the last game, uh, God, you she's were so fine. Ever, ever going to make another video game again. That's true. And um, <laughs> uh, the, the, big, the big thing is we're to introduce a completely new franchise that I'm totally excited about. Cool. Let's go, No Man's Sky, completely new. Uh, so I could do a scan. And... Uh, this was the biggest hoax. Uh, as luck would have it, there's no alien life. Uh, but I could show you this. Like any superhero adventure, like we get into your backstory. I, bro, that was, No Man's Sky, I think at the time, everyone was trying to like hype that game up and everyone was like skeptical, was like, bro, we don't really know what this game's about. It's like, bro, it's gonna be amazing. You're gonna travel to new worlds. We're never gonna experience the same world like I, my friend did. We're gonna have new experiences. It was like, bro, I don't see anything here. Your butthole is- There's so not even any combat. Deep into that. God, we're story. gonna get deep into your butthole. Yeah, in this deep game. into your butthole on this one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, sweeter, more <laughs> kind words have never had been spoken. They did fix it's that game. Insanely hot. <laughs> Nine years. But, I, but a guy from your era probably has rickets or something I can catch. But you look amazing. <laughs> we should come up with a meme really quickly for the show. Right now, I'm pitching who kept the Christmas lights on during the apocalypse. But there's got to be and just. Captain Picard, like screaming that out. Do you have a meme you wanna you wanna pitch? Oh. Guys with rickets are super hot. Well, if you're talking Picard, it will be engaged. Okay, good. We we did that together. All right. Uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mm. Hello, everyone. This shit just never gets old. <laughs> now you can try. I want to say something on my mind. He looks like a humanid, humanoid version of Theodore from Alvin and the Chipmunks. That is all. Next. Trust me, I've tried the new supers and they are delicious. <laughs> Those guys are the Sentinels. They protect the planets from explorers like me. Oh. And uh, now I'm underwater. And there's fish. Moon, there's huh? Fish. I'm hoping I finally get my Gallahorn. Fingers crossed. And you know it. I know the same guy is missing his too. I know. Damn it. And to those people that have four, son of a. <laughs> So this year's Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so what? Let's go. Zach, where are you? I got this. Zach, what are you doing? The door's locked. Aisha! Oh, no. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh this was Shenmue. Yo, 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 he was so disappointed. Bro, he was so disappointed. Bro, he got up in everything. He was like, oh. You can check that out. You can check out that ex the Spotify, Spotify app to bring the single, single biggest. No, all right, all right, all right. 
Is that Amiibo? And now to formally close our event, a small title which requires no introduction. Only on PlayStation. Small title. And it's only on Play. And it's only on PlayStation. PlayStation, everybody. PlayStation. Play. I think that's Sam's Tower. Station. It's definitely Sam's Tower. Come on. This way. I need to finish playing on Charter 4. Do I do this on stream? Maybe. Or maybe I played on my own time. Oh, sorry. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. <laughs> oh, I got to pair this. My fault. How embarrassing. Unbelievable. I'm Charter 4. Shenmue 3. It's all about from console gaming to PC gaming, even virtual Oh my god! Gaming. Shenmue 3! Today we are proud to announce a new relationship with Valve VR. <laughs> you heard everybody in the crowd? Okay. It's our number one goal. Wait, what did he say? Player freedom is our number one goal. Okay. So he was just there silent, like, player freedom is our number one goal. Silence. It's great to have Gears of War back on our Xbox stage. It's the awkward the silence that be really killing me. Julian was popping. Time on Xbox One. It will be available for everyone this holiday. We won't charge. It's good to have you back. I, you know, we were in rehearsal. You know how excited I am about this press conference. You guys are going to lose it. This is going to be awesome. Enjoy. Okay, thank you. I know! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ubisoft's E3 215, that's not a year, 2015 uh -huh. press conference. We believe here that passionate and honest feedback makes games better. Even if you have to dig through ear burning NSW, NSW, NSW. Who is she? Aisha Tyler? She's on, um, what's that show? Uh, is it Bojack Horseman? She voices like one of the characters. NSFW, guys, that's a word. Reddit thread to get it. You know what I'm talking about. As well as all the gamers, fans, and Archer, the Archer, and that's the show. World. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you very much, and have a great E3. Nice. Nice. She does voice in BoJack character, what she does? Uh, I think Archer's the show I meant, but I said BoJack. Dude, you're a cat riding a fire-breathing unicorn. What are you, a robot? <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Ryan Barner, game director on The Division. Give it up for Ryan. It's crazy this was the last time we ever did see Division on the E3 stage. That's crazy. Bernard. Say your last name right, Bernard. Hi, Hi Bernard. Aisha. Hi, it's oh. good to see you. And the paranoia of playing in a place where absolutely anything can happen at any time. Mm -hmm. and a place where you can trust no one. Yeah, like Hollywood. Exactly. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's see how well you do, Francois. Francois. Be careful. It's tricky. Come on, Francois. Come on, Francois. Come on, Francois. Easier to win an Academy Award than playing Live 83, yeah. man. Yeah, funny. Huh. Restart is immediate. Go. <sighs> For the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip ahead. <sighs> I literally, I literally wanted to skip because it hurts my ears, and I literally skipped to the worst part. <laughs> ah. Ever since we announced at E3 last year, 
The community has been asking about the solution. Genevieve is such a fucking boss parking. bitch name, dog. Today. My name is Genevieve, and I have an isosceles pose. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Martin Salin, and that is Yarni. And I'm going to tell you all about that in a moment, but let me first just say that it feels so great to be here on this stage. I'm, I'm just so happy to finally huh? be here and get to you know you. You've never seen an isosceles pussy before? Platformer where you play as a little character or is your pussy obtuse? It unravels as you move. And the yarn, it represents love and the bonds that we make. And it unravels because that's what happens when we're separated from what we love. I made most of this design while I was on a camping trip with my family way out in the countryside. I was Wholesome! I ideas, but I didn't have a lot of tools to work with out there, so I figured I could just kind of like act out the gameplay. And that's how, how Yarny came to be. And I, I actually brought him with me. Uh, I, I <laughs> bro, he's ner Bro, do you see how nervous he is? His hands are shaking! I, I <laughs> Bro, hold on. He is nervous. He came to be, and I, I actually brought him with me. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Brody. Hi. Uh, no. Uh, I created this little doll with some old metal wire that I found and some yarn that I managed to borrow, and then I just like I, I wandered around in the woods. I was putting yarn in different situations. I hope it's game did well. And figuring out fun ways that you could use your yarn, and. <laughs> Wait. And now, here are the Ubisoft creative director. It did? Oh, good for him. Alright, as much as I'd love to watch this, I just want to see how far we are from the next conference. Uh, and challenges for 30 minutes. All right, bit a bit. Unravel's a good relaxing game. You know, it's a really good relaxing game that really helps to calm your mind and soothe you into the environment. Ori 2. Everyone should play Ori 2. One of the best relaxing games. Ori is fire? I'm actually lying when I say Ori 2 is a relaxing game. That game will literally cause you to grit your teeth until it's bared down to your gums. But the music is nice. Oh, no, Odin, I highly recommend playing Ori. Ori's soundtrack is beautiful. Art style, beautiful. The platforming and shit is frustrating, especially if you're playing on hard. <laughs> you might want to off yourself, you know? Or he's the best. Martyr spitting. Martyr is spitting. I think I have never been happier playing Ori 2. And I think my life specifically went downhill the moment I put the game down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where's Chad? Not you. Out. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I, no, I'm not being sarcastic at all. Hello. I'm on my life's floor. literally going down the drain the creative director of Trials, and also president of Finland. President of Trials Finland! And Blood Dragon made baby together. Oh, that's hot. Talk dirty to me, nigga. Okay. And this horrible problem child is being delivered right now. Now. Zero drip. Guys, they're not drippy. Ah. Uh. Didn't think I would come on stream and hear a woman having orgasm. Yeah. Hi everyone. It's actually very hard to do to have an orgasm. I'll take your word on it. I'm very excited <laughs> to be here tonight on behalf of Arcane Studios, the makers of Dishonored. And tonight, I have a surprise for you. I'm going to reveal 
what that surprise is in a minute. No, don't be bashful. Uh, I get it. It's a new game. <laughs> For me, <laughs> one of my favorite moments in any RPG ever was a Dark Brotherhood quest in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Now, when you say Dark Brotherhood, what do you mean? This <laughs> Bro, there's somebody losing their shit in the crowds, man. There's someone is no, somebody is losing their shit in the crowds. This <laughs> Bro. This means this is the first time this has ever been done in a multi-platform RPG. We'll think you'll love it. What? <laughs> what? It's pretty incredible. Did they give everyone E? Tonight, we're pleased to announce virtual reality from Bethesda. Ooh. Have fun playing again. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, man. Where do we go? This way? Oh, yeah. Right this way, gentlemen. Battle. <laughs> Delay, bro. <laughs> Yo, where are we going this way? Right this way, gentlemen. Right this way, gentlemen. Battlefield One awaits you. Good times. Thank you very much. Best of luck on the battlefield. Finally, somebody as tall as me, so I don't have to keep looking down at everybody. <laughs> No, I got to the point where I'd just be slapping down the sleeping bag and like, <sighs> man, I miss X play, man. Apparently they are doing, um, some fucking YouTube channel, I think. Here, is that good enough for you? Oh, you want to, I think they have a YouTube channel. IC. Well, too bad because this is what you get. I am the greatest of all time when it comes to Madden football. I'm here to win, and whoever's in the way is just, you know, another person that's going to have to get laid out. I'd like to believe that I'm the best Madden player in the world. Give it up! All world-class competitors, they're at the top of their game, but only one is going to be the winner. Uh, let's, let's meet one of the guys here who appears to be a little injured. This is serious Mo. You saw in the piece. What happened? Uh, I was racing a friend, didn't have my shoes tied. Fell down, broke my collarbone. <laughs> Didn't have your shoes tied. <laughs> Are they tied now? No. Uh, no, they're not tied. All right, we don't want you to fall off the stage. 6 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday for the finals. Now, let's send it back to Peter in London. Hey, it's Peter. As you can see, I'm really getting into this World War One theme. Backstage here, Battlefield. Uh -huh. and no, I didn't actually fight in World War One. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gaming has changed. Great disclaimer. Yeah. Warner Bros. is starting. Uh, let's take a look. Is this Warner Brothers? It is. It is starting. Uh, let's do this. Boom. Let's cut. Let's drop this down. Bet. Boom. Boom. All right, bet. That looked intense. So there we have it, guys. Back for Blood's PvP mode, Swarm. To hear more about it and to take a deep dive into the gameplay and the mechanics, we have Turtle Rock's lead game designer on Back for Blood, Brandon Yannis. All right, bet. So I think they're just showing off nothing but Bad for Blood. Um, but I think PC will show up soon enough, so we might swap to PC in a bit. Enjoy bringing new ideas to the table while retaining the spirit of the genre that we're working in. So Back for Blood's PvP is heavily inspired by our previous titles that mix survival, fast action, massive monsters, and a touch of horror. So our goal is to make a balanced and fun PvP mode with just as much replayability as the main campaign. So what's the structure of the PvP like? Uh, do you play in rounds? Uh, can you play as both cleaners and ridden in one match? Or are we swapping between the two? Yeah, so it's played as a best of three match. Teams of right, bet. take turns swapping between the ridden and cleaner players. The job of the cleaners is to scavenge supplies, find a good place on the map to fortify the position, and try to last as long as they can. Okay. 
the Ridden's main objective is to kill the cleaners as fast as they can. Uh, so this is achieved by choosing the right Ridden to counter the other team's strategy, using mutation upgrades, and by coordinating attacks with other AIs and players. As the round progresses, the swarm moves in, so this increases the size of the ridden attacks and shrinks the playable space, sometimes forcing the cleaners out of their favorable positions, right? So when a cleaner team is wiped from the field, the points are scored for how long they survive. Uh, then both teams swap, and then they go at it from the other side. The team that runs the clock the longest uh, at the cleaners is the winner. Now, I understand you can play as all the different cleaners in both co-op and PvP. Uh, do you have a favorite character that you play as? So I have a couple. Um, I play mom a lot she's a badass with a sawed off shotgun she has a lot of ability to the team she can also instantly oops help teammates that are falling uh during battle all of our cleaners have special perks um so that one is hers uh let's jump into another trailer that goes a little more in depth on the ridden's progression through PD. is anyone excited for this honestly i think that this is one of the few horror games that i'm actually interested in I know Matt was saying that he was kind of like iffy because he played the demo a while back and he didn't know what he was like. He didn't know what to think about it. But if this really hits like the Left 4 Dead kind of like sweet spot that I liked, I'm here for this. I don't like scary shit. There's only two or three scary games I would actually ever play. Like games like Friday, I would only play Friday the 13th, Dying Light, and Left 4 Dead. Those are the only three games I would ever play. How do I change my username just for one streamer? How did you? What do you mean? You didn't do it for me. You did it for yourself. I want the best for you. And if I want the best for you, you changed it for the best of yourself. You didn't do this for me. You did this for yourself. Dying Light seems very scary. It's not that scary. Well, at least Dying Light 1. I haven't seen much of Dying Light 2 because I kind of want to go into it blind. Okay, so Brandon, we just saw that each different Ridden um, has their own variants as well as their own mutations on each variant. So can you expand a little bit? I heard more? Dying Light's a hella good. It is a hella, especially we have a full squad so of people to play with. Round. Players can choose between nine. I think, and, and I think you understand like there's an ongoing trend. Example, I'm least likely and pull them away from their to team. play a horror, horror game if it's single player. I think I like horror games when I'm played multiplayer with other people. Now, knowing that each Ridden has these different abilities, um, how do they change? That's a lie because I'm not planning on playing Phasmophobia at all. Improve the Ridden's chance of winning. So as the Ridden, I just started Dying Light. Cleaners, they gain points. They can spend these points on team-wide upgrades called mutations. Mutations upgrade and improve a lot of different things on the written side. Yeah, I played. I played all of one. Abilities. They might buff the with like two or three friends. The size and strength. So the really cool thing is, so they affect the whole team and they persist between rounds. So as a written team starts to coordinate their up. Or All right, can we be honest? Uh, what are some strategies? Resident Evil Five is not a horror game at all. If the cleaners are really sticking together, that is the least scary Resident out. Evil game there is. To, to spread out, right? This is going to open up a whole bunch of opportunities. That is more Resident action than anything. Back, right? So if uh, you get them to spread out and there's stalker nearby, stalker use the chaos to grab one of the cleaners and drag them off into the swarm. The wretch's vomit also slows their victims. So if a tall boy who's naturally pretty slow can attack one of those slow characters they're gonna really true but you do punch the shit out of a boulder Touche. waits for a uh, cleaner to go revive their friend they can use that as an opportunity to charge in and detonate on them sending them i can't do hard myself yeah I, I there's no way you guys are ever gonna see me play hard that has to be the tall boy it's pretty easy to pick up and, and play and have a lot of fun hitting cleaners across the map Speaking it isn't a horror game. game. Nice try, Zenith. Now, throughout the trailers, uh, you can see a number of different weapons. Uh, can you go a little deeper into what those weapons are? I remember are I was playing Witcher so, 3, uh, really and there was like a horror uh, side quest, and I was going blood through blood it. Weapons. So, of course, there's handguns, shotguns, LMGs, uh, SMGs, sniper rifles, and a whole bunch of other types you of You ain't trying to slap Lady D's ass, though? Feel to them. Now, yeah, as long as she don't turn around and slash my neck. I really want to know, what are some of the Lady D is least threatening from behind. Actually, so 
There's a lot being of under her is kind of safe as well. So throughout the world, but direct line of sight, arm length stocks, is the sites, is the worst spot to be in. Stuff. You can mix and match them. So there's a ton of options. Last question. Do you have a favorite type? Yeah, come to think of it, I think so, as I said earlier, Lady I really D enjoy playing moms is pretty nice talking. to be around in general, to be honest. Oh, that's a solid choice. <laughs> it's everywhere else right, besides a little bit about how is the scary works, part. Cleaners, the ridden, the mutations, as well as how the customization works for the weapons. Thank you so much. She's picking you up, choking with one arm, and you're just whispering, please order. And you know, it's just like, I'm literally like the State Farm. Uh, I'm in good hands. Their hands on this game. We're all really excited. I can't wait either. The good news is that you guys won't have to wait too long. There's an open beta coming up on August 12th with an early access portion on August 5th. Available this is the best order. place to be. Pull up. For blood still has a lot more to reveal. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. I, remember, I got it. I have to retweet again. I have to retweet again. Bob, that's the best. <sighs> that looks comfy. 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 Plush. Plush. Was that the end of the conference? And there you got it, folks. Back that was the Warner Brothers, Brothers showcase. Awesome PVP mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I laugh. Uh, this is awkward. Um, let's do this. Back to this. Zoom. Really. It didn't create, it wasn't the first, but it really, you know, started the FPS movement. Mm -hmm. If you want E3 might E3 might just be mid this year. I want to make something with the classic E3 might just be map. mid yes, this year. That map is kind of fun for a couple reasons. First, somebody always makes a really, really easy map that gives you a billion points. That's the one that I Y'all let me know when E3 starts. Let me know. Okay, first. Um, <laughs> Let me know when day one of E3 happens. And second people uh, make some really interesting and imaginative things. Yeah, if you guys haven't played it's this kid. We're, we're all focusing on this kid, right? Around with Snap Map, it's pretty easy when you get started, and it gets really deep if you want to do it. It's just static. Static Jets is in the chat. But I was, I'm used to like responding to an order and not initiating the order. So I had to like, oh yeah, uh, uh, engage. <laughs> <laughs> That's how <laughs> people don't even understand how excited some of these other people Did are. the Warner Brothers thing start yet? Oh, Azzy, it's over. <laughs> like this man right here. Ah, what's up? And it's just wild because you can actually put a shovel in your friend's head. <laughs> Straight PC strategy all the way. I'm going it. It's going to lead you to victory. Yes. All, all right, baby. Man. Good to see you guys. Good seeing you as well. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you. Terry Crews trying to outmuscle me. He's lucky. I like this jacket a lot. This is a very expensive coat that I got. Uh huh. Many many years ago. We've got more people. I'm actually built like him. You will get to stretch your acrobatic skills across an entire planetary playground. Not only yeah, that guy's not too bad. Can you forget your words? <laughs> not only can you ride the giant star plants. Pete, your accent is so adorable you could forget to say anything at all. Bro, you just turn those vowels into words way up. There were like 18 A's in that word. You're awesome. Now, hi everybody. Nom 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 nom. We're sailing. Oh, I found the captain's quarters. This is mine. Okay. I'm looking at the water, Chad. Shut up. She's so strong, bro. Every time I think of Aisha Tyler, I literally just think of legs. That's all. You're leaving me behind. And when I think of legs, I immediately think of Sid from Toy Story 1 and how he had literally just a doll that was just legs. That nigga's off a of beam. That was done. Now it's time to head to the battlefield. Cocoa butter, head and legs. Right. Cocoa butter, know. heads, legs and labia, Those legs and labia. Fun. That guy's special. You know, Knees he's, he's, he's and toes. Cocoa butter, head, and legs and switch game legs and back to being a douchebag again. Right. So let, let's see how that douchebag was able to make it into Kun and Friends. Real gameplay. As a co-designer of the original game. I'm extremely proud 
Extremely. Excited to be standing here today. Standing here. To announce the next chapter of this great game, Quake Champion. The FF Origin demo's out now. Ooh. You were too late. I could also try to play that during this week as well. Actually, maybe during the uh, next uh, Beam Struggle podcast, we could pro I could probably play that. I'm down for that. When are you going blonde platinum? Uh, there's no way in fuck I'm dying my hair. There's very few people that can at least relate to it at some level, except for Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, going to download the game right now, though. Uh, we got that one out. Never yeah, ever, ever, a ever. Huge year for everyone here at Ubisoft. It's my fifth time hosting this conference. Yes. Uh, and you all know what the traditional gift is for a fifth anniversary, yeah? That's right, my friends. Wood. Or girl wood, if you choose. Let mm, it over you. Girl wood. <sighs> the only thing next to best to Groot. Your farts are so powerful that you can use them to rip the fabric of time itself. I am I Groot. <laughs> An amazing game for us to work on, and I think both of our teams have been Lady a Groot. Of fun. And we're almost done. And now we have anything cool happen with Warner. New Fuck you, thought. I can see. I can see. There's a lot of people that relate to that story. Yeah, it's very right. personal for us, and apparently that does yeah. we'll touch a lot of people. <laughs> there's very few people that can at least relate to it at some level, except for Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and you all know what the traditional gift is for a fifth anniversary, yeah? That's right, my friends. Wood. Wood. Or girl wood. If you choose, let Thank it you, Moon. over you. No problem. Your farts are so powerful that you can use them to rip the fabric of time itself. It's like Ghost Recon. <laughs> <laughs> An amazing game for us to work on, and I think both of our teams have been having a ton of fun. And we're almost done, and now we have some exciting news, news for our South Park fans before we go. Thank you. And thank you for wearing those shoes. I like I'm, to make I'm sure say I'm actually that short. No, no. You're, you're actually taller God than me damn. without these shoes on. I'm sorry. I'll go with it. <laughs> thank you. All you be so Bro, she is a titan. And Aisha. Um, <laughs> I, for their creativity and. Uh, You've been so awesome. I'm Aisha Tyler. We are Ubisoft. Happy 30th anniversary. We are you. Venom. You know what to do. Come on down. Meet us on the floor and do that shit. Moon, you gonna play the FS Origins demo? I mean, I could, but there's a PC event happening. Um, so and I don't know how long the demo is. So I kind of want to watch it. Oh, well, that's awkward. 2014, let's get it. Yeah. All right. With the PlayStation this year, it will do so first, bigger, and better than on Hulk any other platform. Smash. Hulk Smash is right. <laughs> Theodore, we're back. Oh, you remember this eagle sound game? Was this the game that just made nothing but eagle sounds? No, it's something else. No audio. Awesome. It's going to be amazing. God, it's she exciting. doesn't age. It's terrifying. It's uplifting. It's even going to get a little sweaty. It's hella fucking smoky. Apparently, it's 420 in this bitch. Everybody clapping is in the back of the She got the younger. <laughs> Hi, I'm Odd Sock, and what makes me different to Sap Boy? Well, for starters, I'm Oh, I can wall jump. Yes, I can, guys. I can. <laughs> Take your time. 
You, you almost there? You're, al you're almost there? You're almost there? Of all the thousands of letters we received, there was some kind of special and God, if we needed a true gamer, they should have just handed Gamer Moon the controllers. Hello? Why are we being tortured, Moon? Huh? And PS Vita, thanks to the relationship with our good friends at Disney. Looks like it's time to get to work, Sally. Maybe start with a little shave. Sally, Tim, Sally, Tim, Sally, Tim. Yikes. Um, you know, after watching the likes of Brobocop and Bronan the Brobarian and Broforce, I can't help but bro out all of our PlayStation names. We've got Andrew Brohouse, Scott Brody, Bro Hey Bro Sheeta. Pad and play. I can't. <laughs> and I can't wait. This is my excited face. Look at how excited I am. Fatality. Now I'm gonna use my pump and I to block these spikes. You guys wanna bet they're gonna die? There we go. Oh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Sorry, Toggle. Oh. It's a gamer's dream Jesus. come true to see your voice coming out of your screen and then get to roll over yourself in a dump truck um, or hug yourself or teabag yourself, whatever you're into. But how do you no teabag you yourself? At it, the fact is that dancing makes people happy. And frankly, I can't think of a place that needs dancing more than a post This is Moon playing? City, Not true. Where millions of people have died <laughs> from a virulent contagion. Just bleeding from all your orifices makes you want to jump up and shake it. It is also like Footloose only, you know, bleeding from your eyes. It's called now, nut sacking? Year, Three weeks after the release of the virus, you are activated. Should we call the police? Should we alert the police on this guy? Should we? To uncover the conspiracy. pandemic and ultimately to take back New York. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, hey. Hi, how are you? How's it going? I'm just going to hug you. Oh. I'm a hugger. Yes. All right. Here's the situation. A contaminated energy <gasps> has turned everyone into mutants. This is Sunset Overdrive, right? <laughs> that was Sunset Overdrive? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now I'm not gassed. I'm not gassed because that sunset overdrive. I'm gassed because I finally understand the reference in Ratchet and Clank. Okay. Super Did you know Ratchet and Clank tear my rift ass apart? It has to be one of the best games ever. Hi, Charlie. Everybody. My hug one died. I don't hug you. I'm gonna hear about it later. So here we go. Yeah. Thank you. It's awesome. He's, Hi, he's incredibly muscular. Bro, <laughs> gonna play more later. How many gold bolts did you get, Kagi? I think I right now I only have. I'm sorry to say the title of the game again. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, <laughs> rift your ass apart. <laughs> Bro, do you guys remember when Ratchet and Clank games had literally suggestive titles? Hold up. Let me go down the discography of Ratchet and Clank. Hold up. Hold up. Ratchet. Ushi Ratchet and my penis clanks on her forehead. All right, clank, bro. Ahem. Allow me to read some of these games. Ahem. Let's see. Uh, let's start off real nice with uh, Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault. You know, that's that's a really good one right there. Um, we got Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, Ratchet and Clank Up. Your arsenal. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ratchet and Clank, size matters. Bro, they used to have some really interesting name for Ratchet and Clank. They used to go nuts with these shits. Wait. He is, look at him. Okay, wiry. I wanted to make a Ratchet and Clank game called like Ratchet and Clank, get a load of this or some shit. <laughs> fitness. 
fitness is boring. I know. I'm sorry. You be yourself. Oh. Well done. I'm already in a better shape than this morning. <laughs> Impressive shot. Uh, in your face, Charlie from the past. <laughs> That was super fun. But that yeah, in Ratchet cool. and Clank, uh, weird, but fun. into your ass apart, they give you skins for some, some of the bolts you get. Typing, a couple of Ubisoft employees and there's a Sunset Overdrive uh, reference in Ratchet and Clank. Actually, there's a quite a bit of references in that game. Each other. The U.S. against the France. Against the France. That's what they called us. La France. So, he's American, his light beer, deep fried Oreos, and catfish noodling. What's up? I had to check if size matters. No, they're all real. Ubisoft San Francisco. On the blue team, we have L'Esprit de France. He loves leisurely three-hour coffee breaks, Ooh. making fun of American tourists, and playing football with his feet. Oh, uh, hey, bonjour. Uh, welcome. That nigga is busty. Give it up for Justin from Ubisoft Paris. Oh, he hit that weight. He, wait, hold up. He hit that weight. Go back. Go back. That was really. Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he hit the fuck out of that. Yeah, that was good. Chat. Hold on, when is this PC game show event? Where, when is the PC? Rewards. Oh, it's over. <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? PC. And we're also getting the US version of- Oh, it's so four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. For the very first okay, time. chat, after the four minutes, we can play the, the Final Fantasy, uh, game I'm like it never got an official localization so that is uh really cool news uh as well granted it's again it's only gonna be playable on pc for right now but i i think these games realistically will hopefully the demo's broken moon to other consoles in the future that aren't just PC. all right after the pc um, so we'll call cool. it a stream and, and then i'll see you guys Vienna, for the capcom event tomorrow doing uh recently with a lot of the retro games they've been remastering them uh they did the collection of mana where they did uh, Secret of Mana and Trials of Mana, and now they're doing Legend of Mana. They've been doing it the seems Saga corrupt. series. All right, uh, cool. The Romance of Saga 1, and there is uh, no uh, 2, three, The game is bugged. As stunning. well as um, uh, I got you, Sayu. Are you live right now? Um, so I like seeing- I'll like, Let me know, because uh, the, after like, the PC gaming event, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. I got you. They're bringing them to modern consoles. So those like me, who's like a little bit just outside of that age range when I was a kid to be- <laughs> Did Wendy Nova just shoot up and comer VTuber Sai Yu in the chat? Can someone please remove Wendy Nova from the state from the pews, please? Good shot. Give me power. I got you. Ever been so excited that like you're laughing and you're kind of crying at the same time? <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Is everybody all right? Because I I could use a couple of hugs. Um, Is she on drugs? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fatality. All right, we got four minutes left. Let's watch awkward moments. On further development and an en enhancement of Music Unlimited, I am happy to announce that Sony Pictures is hard at work on, bra on a brand new original programming plan. All of the <laughs> new and existing programs- Bro, programs did you guys know that they're working on a Halo movie? Steven Spielberg is working on a Halo movie and we have heard nothing since they announced it. ...that we provide to PlayStation, PlayStation Network. Now, I'm excited to announce that Xbox One will launch this November in 21 markets Wait, really? around yes. the world at $499 was it announced? in the US, 499 euros in European markets, and 140, uh, 429 pounds in the UK. And to be representing our incredibly talented and devoted team back in Warsaw, Poland. You guys rock! <laughs> this movie was 
announced in 2013. It was canceled? Wow. Ah, makes sense. I'm on stage at E3. And I, I, man, phone, it looks gorgeous. It'll gorge. chew the whole damn thing off. So the brains behind Garden Warfare. We're about to show you an exclusive first look of our four-player cooperative survival mode. We hope you enjoy it. Plants versus zombies go dummy. Remember when I was talking about we had plants versus zombies and human versus zombies? We'll Ooh, homie kind of thick from the front. Hold up. Okay, I see you, K. Rule. Greg, we'll be playing. The demo features dynamic gameplay that can happen only in Battlefield. Let's take a look. <laughs> the awkward silence. All right, well, while they're sorting that out, let's just go on for the PC show. In 17 seconds. Starting a Series X when they were possible to track down. All right, let's get uh, it. Now, IGN Summer of Gaming is going on all summer long, all through E3 Comic Con and Gamescom, a whole bunch of stuff. And there's lots of stuff happening in between, probably weird one-off events we don't even know about yet. And while we're winding down on the Square Enix stuff, today is only just getting started, and there's still the PC gaming and future games showcases coming up. And there's still two more days of this stuff. You can find our summer of gaming coverage everywhere on IGN.com, on YouTube, on social media, and now even on your smart TVs. And of course, for additional content, check out E3's online portal and app featuring virtual booths, articles, and more. And if all that sounds like way too much trouble, you can stay right where you are and just don't do anything. And tons more gaming coverage is coming your way. Yeah, that's DC quite a gaming mouthful. Show is kicking off breathe. Right now. Let's check it out. About to say breathe, nigga. <laughs> Not this guy. Sean! They Sean! went the Devolver Digital Sean! route for this. Do to the it's me, Faith! Oh, Deadbot, no! We have so much to live by. I'm pretty sure half my three is going to be announced this year! Three. Bet? <laughs> it is so good to be back. Are they flying an NVIDIA Mr. graphics card chip? Oh, she's so fine. Remotely on board, Sean. Well, I'm so glad you were able to finance this year's PC gaming show by, you know, selling all those black market graphics cards you've been hoarding. Ah, yes, Get me that RTX. Real world consequences. Hey, Frankie, wait a minute. Is that a 65 ton catapult mech model CPLTC1 as featured in Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries? Sean, I always knew you had immaculate taste. It most certainly is. I can't ah. wait for this year's significantly more weaponized PC gaming show to go off without a hitch. Which reminds me, Debbot, can you run a quick hitch scam? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, burr, burr, burr. Running hitch scam. Oh, 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 and I also want to warmly welcome someone new to the crew. Mika Burton, welcome. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm so happy to be here and look forward to bringing all of you fresh new PC games and hardware. Hitch scan complete. Zero hitches found presently or in 13,908,665 possible futures. That's Hooray! LeVar Burton's daughter? Yeah! So what's the plan, Gap? Well, Frankie... This was like a Disney ride? She's mine? Great. Uh, now that you all have her... Your that leaves me with the other person. Premieres or any number of amazing new What's up, Cleo? How you been? To beam down to the fine Damn, you guys wasted water. no time finding an Instagram Seriously. account. Now, this is gonna continue Too bad I don't have an Instagram. Required and our mission is completed smoothly and without a hitch. Isn't that right, DevBot? Yes, no hitch is located, Sean. Not a single hitch in sight. But first, let's teleport down to the stage to check in on E3 happenings. The only reason we're allowed to legally be back on Earth. Damn, y'all find, bro, Jesus, all the socials? You guys are working harder than the FBI. Oh, 
Oh, planet Earth. Oh, great to be back, right? Am what? I right? One of my favorite planets in the whole galaxy. Eh, it's all right. And thank God that teleporter was conveniently built just out of frame of camera. Mika, are you ready? I'm ready. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Well, to hello, PC everyone. 2021. It feels great to be When well, then have a alive, rest in peace, Robin again. Williams. Over I want to eat for your bread with Mrs. Doubtfire. You a showcase of some of the most exciting Chat too fucking horny. titles with world premieres and exclusive interviews. And if dozens of new trailers wasn't enough for you guys, later in the show, we I feel like are we're still watching bad E3 Halloween compilations, Chad. But it's 2021. Powered by Intel. So mm -hmm. you're going to want to stick around for that. Now, make sure to keep out a special look for a special promo code throughout the show from Humble Bundle, during which you can get a ticket to get Civilization VI Platinum Edition for just 10 bucks. But <gasps> right now, we're gonna kick things off with Nautica Blade Point, probably the most original entry in the Battle Royale genre this year. <clears throat> <laughs> the Shade, what? A new original Battle Royale. Wait, this kind of looks nice. Wait, hold up. It's Aang! Most popular play test game. Those are Shinobi Strikers. Key concurrent players, a high number. This actually does look kind of sick. Okay, it looks good. New weapon chainsaw. Now I just hear the raid trailer. Yeah, I think I kind of ruined it for everyone. You are watching the 2021 PC gaming show, and I am the new cloud based dev bot. I am streaming from GeForce Now, NVIDIA's cloud gaming service that connects PC gamers like you to their own library of games purchased from digital stores like Steam and the Epic Game Store. Sure. Dying Light 2 and Orcs Must Die 3. But first, a trailer for Humble Games, Dodgeball Academia. And be sure to check out GeForce Now. Like me? PC, Mac, I played the Alpha, it ain't bad. Chromebook, Might give it a look. Visit GeForceNow.com to learn more. How 300 is that you? WorldPremiere.com Finally, I've made it. My time is now. I will become the best player in school. Ah, it's 2D Knockout City. Academia, here I come. Yeah. Oh, hold up. He got that. Wait, hold up. What is this AKO My Hero Academia Knockout City bullshit? Surprisingly enough, that is very accurate. Dodgeball Academia. Looks like a Flash game. Make sure to check out Dodgeball Would it look like it would have been a really good Cartoon Network game? Games. Ooh, that was sweet. Don't you agree, Devbot? Sure, whatever you say, Sean. I agree with whatever you say. I'm sensing a little bit of resentment there, buddy. Has some rusted your ports? Nothing. I am happy to play second fiddle to a captain as charming and handsome as you. I have also definitely not dedicated multiple cores to computing revenge plans in a range of lethalities. Great! Fair enough! New target acquired, Cap. It looks like chivalry. These skits, bruh. A special word from Steve Piggott, CEO and creative director of Bootleg ass tsunami. 
Hey guys, Steve Bigot, founder of Torn Banner Studios and creative director on Shivery 2. I thought his name was Steve Bigot. I was like, oh, that's an unfortunate last name. Shivery 2, if you don't know. Yeah, I thought his name was Steve Bigot. I had to look at his name. You've got swords, battle axes, longbows, and players are fighting it out on these huge 64 player battlefields. That would be unfortunate. Duels that you see in medieval Hollywood movies. And also that for honor three battle of the bastards kind of chaos and oh this is chivalry so the post launch support plan is going to look like a mixture of mid and, and massive level content updates that are coming out across this year one of the things we're most excited about is taking it to different eras in the medieval period uh-huh we've done the early period now we're going closer to the later period uh in the upcoming update where you know you're going to get a bit more refined medieval armors and refined uh atmospheres that you can then go in and tarnish it and smear blood all over but we really want to take players into I never tried Chivalry 2. Xbox keeps throwing ads. Its own game mode and make it something that, you know, medie medieval army would actually do when they go into a space. And, you know, when you come across these pristine gardens and, and this beautiful castle, you get to tear it all down and, and cause... Someone high even was good. Was good. Your destruction. Intense violence, blood and gore. What we got? What we got? for chivalry 2 is <sighs> chats you know you know what i'm about to do you know you know what i'm about to do explore and fight choose your champions Defeat bosses. Win PvP battles. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> it just fits. It it just fits. We've got a ton of weapon coming in at launch. It There'll just be fits. More added to it post launch as well. Get, it, get ready. Really change up the experience and change how you have to fight everyone. Pulse launch content is something that we're going to be working on for a long time. Play it again? I got you. Get ready to raid. Explore and fight. Chivalry 2. I think it's over. <laughs> you want to bet there's going to be another game that looks exactly like this? Make sure to stick around to find out how you could win a custom mech warrior PC from our friends at Intel. Any looks. It's Genshin Impact. No. Okay. Food Ninja? Wait, hold up, what's going on? What the fuck is this? Is that meatball? Another knockout city? No, there's no dodgeball at all. Platoon? Fair enough. Raw men. Mm. As opposed to cooked men. Hi. My name is Piotr Szymanek. I'm narrative director in Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Sons of Anarchy Season 5. Today, especially for the viewers of the PC. You saw my nigga want to flex the rolly, one pocket out to see the watch, the one on his lap. Dying Light Universe. So. Oh, I was just talking about Dying Light. Moon. I too take my men raw. Started with a virus. That escaped from I like my men well done. The city we met in the first part of the game. 
and it reached the whole I hope Splatoon 3 is still active I mean I think Splatoon at its core is always gonna be Splatoon you know the most it can do is build upon it you know add new modes game tip variants the military ordered chemicals to be dropped on the city it was a mistake a huge mistake the chemicals mixed with water penetrated the soil this monologue is kind of creeping me out people into bloodthirsty monsters don't think of them as zombies though they are more like half alive suffering people who attack everything that lives as a result of their pain and rage those who survived the chemical raid took refuge on the rooftops a new order has been born in the city people live on the rooftops monsters in the streets nobody in their right mind would dare to come down i wouldn't mind if he showed us the gameplay as he talked the exception is the main character of dying light 2. yeah just do this okay but sure one second of it why is he braver than others how did he develop such a unique parkour and combat skills believe me guys i would gladly answer all these questions but I'm not here to spoil it for you. Let me tell you one thing. Same nightmare haunts me every night. I'm locked up with other kids. I don't know what he did to me, but he did it every day. What? <laughs> Looking for something he couldn't find. The worst part was that he did the same to my sister. I'll never forget her scream when they separated us. But what could I do? They had rifles, and we... We were five years old, and there was a fire, explosions, chaos. They pulled the plug. Like, ah, you know what? Just play the trailer. The soldiers took me out of the city, but my sister stayed there. My Mia. I left her. We meet Aiden as one of the many, many children. Is he still talking? Undergoing mysterious. He's still research. talking. <laughs> from that time. <laughs> He's still talking! A fire and a little girl that was being tested with him. Her name was Mia. She was his sister. What happened next after the fire? Is Mia still alive? <laughs> the following years haunted Aiden with these questions and with guilt over leaving her. Moreover, Mia is the only answer to the question who Aiden really is. Now, in 2036, we meet Aiden when, for the first time during his He's rich, bro. he finds a clue about how to find his sister. Aiden's path to the truth is tough, full of challenges To prove his and stuff. Adventures. The difficult choices to make as well as the consequences await you. You're going to discover them all. It's so obvious he's September reading off like a sheet of paper or something. December 7th. Okay. Dying Light 2. Ooh, that was Dying Light 2, and it looks great. And spooky. Well, Legend has it that he's still back. talking to this day. So we can get <laughs> to your comments and reactions to what you're seeing on this year's PC Gaming Show. That is right, Sean. So you out there, keep your comments coming in. And as you're watching this year, we want to get your input on a subject that uh, Sean and I are pretty passionate about, PC building. Mm -hmm. So this year, we've put a number of prototype PCs based on MechWarrior 5, but we're only going to manufacture one of them. And you get to pick which custom design becomes our flagship PC for this year's PC Gaming Show. Sure. Powered by the 11th Gen Intel Core i9 processor. That is correct. Each of the prototype PCs that you see before you on the screen are paired with one of the six factions of MechWarrior 5. The Free MechWarrior 5. The Conus Combine, the Federated Sons, the Compellin Confederation, and more. So cast your vote now for which faction and custom PC you want to win and help us pick the best design. I'm currently personally pulling for the Draconis Combine because as you can see by my beautiful patch, I'm the biggest fan of MechWarrior 5 on the PC Gaming Show.
Well, all right. Well, we'll check in later to see which group survives this Mech Warrior showdown. But for now, let's check in with our very own Mech pilot, Frankie Ward, who went on a special mission. Thanks, horny idiots. Look at Sega and Amplitude Studios' upcoming strategy game, Humankind. Mild violence. Sega. In Humankind, you will be creating a civilization as unique. As I'm out. And speaking of unique. It's me, Frankie Ward. Who? Looking kind of good, don't you think? Wondering how I got into the game? Sai, what is that link? Oh, you think you can beat me? Posture all you like. I've seen worms with more. Is she popular? I don't know. I'm guessing maybe in like in a Civ world, maybe. Maybe she's like a sieve tuber. Chat, it's me. Who? Come on, it's Star Lord. Get ready to play against me in the humankind close beta, starting now. Sega. This is a yikes. Yeah, let me know when E3 starts. Hold up. It's Batman with the poncho. Can we get Gamer Moon as a game? Did they do Square Enix yet? Yes, they did. Fluffy, would you happen to be a Final Fantasy fan? Hell yeah, I am. Well, you're in luck. They showed nothing. <laughs> They spent 90 minutes on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy game and possibly uh, Life is Strange <laughs> for 40 minutes. And then they showed all the Final Fantasy games in a montage. Fucking asshole, don't trust me. I was looking forward for Final Fantasy 2. I love Final Fantasy. They did show uh, Final Fantasy uh, 1 through 6 getting a pixel remaster, but that was about it. They never, like, delved into any Final Fantasy game. You're evil? What do you mean? We got three whole seconds of Final Fantasy 16? Director Jerome K. Jones. Welcome, Jerome. Thanks, Sean. Glad to be here. So, for anyone who's never seen an Orcs Must Die game, what is the Orcs Must Die series all about? Well, Orcs Must Die 3 is a third person tower defense game. So, basically, there are tons of orcs and bad guys trying to get into these rifts, and the player has to stop. From now on, in every game I play, I would refer to character as champions, even as fighters in racing games. Bro. <laughs> Or you can invite a friend and play co-op. 
Now, since this is the third game in the series, what's new compared to the previous two? Volume? Is it too loud? Two new campaigns, but the main new story campaign takes place about 25 years after Orcs Must Die 2. So not only will the fans be able to catch up on any new developments with the order, but they will also place a the volume is fine in our all new war scenario. I wish you guys would be consistent with volume levels where you fight hundreds of orcs on the battlefields outside of the fortress themselves. So All right. you're fighting I won't touch it. I won't touch it. Which is pretty new. We have a new mode called Scramble. It's basically It's not loud enough. It's quiet. Against the player making the levels more challenging. I want to know about the toys. What are the new weapons? I might have to recommend that you turn the volume on your end cuz I'm maxed on my end. Guardian. So a war machine is like there are these massive traps like you might release a giant who's your god favorite champion in dokkan the uninstall button into a catapult and you'll fire at oh, you awesome. know giant orc what's popping me so how you being and then, and then the war guardians are uh it's like putting other war mages on the battlefield with you to fight with you except they have their own attacks and their own special abilities well i gotta ask then when and where can we play orcs must i three so OMD3 is coming out uh, on July 23rd on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox, and pre-orders start today. So you should rush Moon, turn up the volume. I can barely hear OMD3 my asshole. Oh, Netflix my course. asshole breathing. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jerome K. Jones. Once again, just a few more weeks to wait for Orcs Must Die 3. For now, though, it's time for us to take a look at Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Moon, don't they making this entertaining? I'm doing my best. Why, thank you. Four, five, this looks different. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm, so I'm gonna could use some sunlight. Michael Jackson. She looks really pale. Halsey, get out here. And my mom entered the closet. She opened straight up the closet. Then I left up the closet. I left the drawing straight in the closet. They're making a Shinra game. Come for me and mine. But first, you need to find us. All I want is to be with my little girl. Is that so much to ask? I don't wanna see you. I don't wanna see you. Ah, no wonder she's pale. They made a vampire hitman game. Hey. Hello, this is CERN from Passion Republic Games. We are a Malaysian based indie game studio working on Gigabash, a multiplayer arena brawlers inspired by kaijus and heroes. Today, we'd like to showcase some new and exciting gameplay footage of our oversized characters in action. Big old wanted. Wait. Big old wanted Def Jam? We didn't get it. We got Kaiju Smash Bros. All right, player one is being trolling and just throwing buildings. What the fuck am I looking at? What is this orgy? Hold up, player four kind of dominated. Look at, bro, player four is kind of beating ass. Player four is kind of beating ass. Fair enough. Jesus. Get Deji. Just 
Give me Snoop Lion versus Blueface. Let's check out a trailer for Lemnis Gate and make sure you hang around afterwards for the developer interview with Sean. Mankind is total annihilation. We stand on the verge of extinction. Infertility spreading across the globe. Humanity's last living generation. A major scientific breakthrough. Yet there is hope for our future. The project known as the Lemnis Gate. But if we are to survive, first. We must go back. Activate the Lim Lyman's Gate. Uh-huh. Two. One. Looks like Apex. And when I say it looks like Apex, I mean it looks nothing like Apex. Looks like trash kid. That's what I meant when I said it looks like Apex. <laughs> Activate the Lemnus Gate. Fair enough. Augusto Third. Dot com. Joining us to talk about Lemnis Gate is the game director from Rat Loop Games Canada. It's James Lemon Anderson. Gates. Thanks for joining us, James. Oh, Sean, it's great to be here. Now, let's begin by asking what the heck is a first person shooter turn based strategy game? The entire game is set inside of a. You just explained the name by asking so what the game was. It's a first person shooter strategy turn game. By turn. So, for example, I'll take a turn and play for 20. Oh! Seconds, and then you'll take a turn and play for 20. So, this game is like. And then we turn by turn. Like, it's like Smite. Into the same but it's XCOM. So, for example, I may run down a hallway and throw a grenade. Kill Mix! So okay! But then okay! On the next turn, this is horrible. <laughs> so, we have Retrieve XM, Seek and Destroy, a Classic Deathmatch, and we have a game mode called Domination. Can you walk me through a little bit of like what a few turns at the start of a round looks like? You can see the board, you can see the time loop, everything that's happening. And then we both get time to like observe, plan, and then execute our moves. When and where can we play it? So Lemon Skate will be launching on August 3rd. It's open for pre-orders right now on Steam. And we're coming up to a open beta in July. The this game, game looks like it will definitely PC give the Switch a run for its money in graphic or paper. Thank you so much for joining us, James no. Anderson. Once again, that is I think Switch can run this game just fine. First person shooter turn based strategy game, Lemnis Gate. Now, we're not the only one marooned in the stars out here. Coming up next, let's take a look at Next Space Rebels. Next Space Rebels. No Man's Land has a technical term. Is the game finished? Comic, which means, my friends, that space is for everyone. And I mean Give me the name of the person who asked for this. Um, uh huh. You up for it? Then come on in. You guys just saw Next Space Rebels. And hey, if you play enough of that game, maybe you'll get good enough at building rockets to join us up on orbit. But don't do anything illegal like Day9 did. <laughs> Last break, we set up our Intel yeah, what the fuck was that? Warrior 5 custom PC. Can she be on the screen at all times? To vote for the winners. Well, we're just down to three houses now with Davion, Russell Haig, and Liao being eliminated. So we're up to those factions, press F to pay respects, et cetera, et cetera. Now that we means that we only have three houses left, Karita, Steiner, and Merrick. So make sure to vote now because the winner will determine the build of the custom- She's carrying this? Themed PC powered by Intel. So let's keep the show moving. And next up, it's a brand new medieval RPG. This is War Tales. War Tales? 
I'll get the trailer ready. A hundred years have passed since the rise of the Eteran Empire. And it's untimely. Moon, Redfall girl or her? <sighs> Why must you pit two bad bitches against each other? In these troubled Redfall. times of quarreling factions and outlaws roaming the land, work is not scarce for a band of mercenaries. The stories of this age have been recorded. They are known as the War Tales. The War Tales. Get ready to raid. Explore and fight. Choose your champions. Defeat bosses. Win PvP battles. Raid Shadow Legends. Why? Why? Why every time? Why every time? It just. It just. These games just have, they just have, they all have a look. They all have a look. They all have a look. That was the debut of War Tales, an open world RPG from Shiro Games about leading a mercenary troop on a sprawling adventure. And speaking of mercenaries, our battle <laughs> for the <best laughs> custom PC Dot com. based on Mech Warrior 5 mercenaries continues. We'll be back live. Booty, you're wrong for this? Stuff. How am I wrong? You keep voting for I don't want to be right. You like the most and head over to pcgamer.com slash Intel MW5 for your chance to win. So how about another game announcement? This is E3 after all. And this year's PC gaming show is so full of games set in space. It's starting to feel a little crowded up there. But the next game we have to show you is very special. It is the world exclusive reveal of Ixion, a deep settlement management game set in the stars. In Ixion, you struggle to maintain a space station, stockpiling resources, D-man down bad? And internal threats, and rescuing the survivors of other failed And they have found we think this will be her Instagram entry into the genre when it releases. So, once here again, is your first look at Ixion. Anyway. World premiere. Do I need to get my Raid Shadow Legends trailer ready? Yeah. Just in case. What well, is a lot of nano leaves? The Earth, our home. She is you. Hello, Big O. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. In her bosom? Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of. That's comfort, actually a fire album cover right there. Humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge. What is this weekend that music is video? Furthest realms of science. New, 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 Choked its breath. Where's E3? I don't know. We're paying the price for this. We know the Where are you, E3? But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage begin her children. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the van. They know what am I watching? That the survival of humans so I'm guessing you're collecting resources out there in the dark that we are masters of our own destiny that we must go as a species bound together pushing further into the unknown we set sail on this new sea because there is look pretty far with your eyes closed horizons to explore and because our very existence depends on it I give you the stars. I give you the full engine. What? 
Whoa, Sonic Adventure Battle 2! Oh, you ungrateful humans. Who took everything away from me? Sure. Ah, something new, refreshing. to like gauge it's so hard to gauge like what's going on you know far Who's ever heard of a human sidekick? There are plenty of human sidekicks, Sean. Building list of known human sidekicks. Uh, Alex Vance and... No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I mean human sidekicks to robot heroes. Can you compute that, DevBot? Burp, burp, burp. It's me, there Face! There is no known precedent set for human sidekick to robot lead. Yeah, there you go. Uh, human sidekick, 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 sidekick,
Let's talk about Mech Warrior 5 Mercy. Here's the dog. He do only so. wants the food. I know what he wants. He wants manager, my food. Darren You're not going to get it. Us, You're not going to get it. Thank you, Sean. Great to You're going to have now, to come Mech down, Warrior boy. The universe is gigantic. There's a ton of games in it. I even played Mech Warrior 2 back in 1995. This is HQ. What is your situation? Where does Mech Warrior 5 sit in the space? Yeah, obviously Moon stand up. a very uh, rich legacy of games that go way I can't back. at this moment in time. But in particular, Mech Warrior 5 pays homage to Mech Warrior 2. As I'm not wearing any pants. But it has all this modern design and technology that I'm super excited to talk about with you today. Well, let's start at the real basics of what makes being in a mech and doing When's mech the WB mech event? Oh, zero. A part of oh, machine. zero. And when you're out oh. in battle, it's not just about <laughs> and zero. Oh, you're no. Also managing your system. Oh, whether zero. You're, you know, oh, sweet, a lot of zero. Weapons or I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> well, you got to manage your heat so that you don't shut down in the middle of a battle. And when you're facing your foes, you can salvage these battle mechs. So if you who should tell them? Oh, want, man. Well, you might want to not want to destroy it completely. You might want to take out its leg. Right. I wouldn't even call it a WB weapons. showcase so event. The pilot has to eject and then you can just take the mech. Now in the last few weeks, I understand that there's been a whole lot of new content, both updates to the base game and a new DLC Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Talk to me about what's in the DLC. Boy, there's a lot in the DLC. I'm excited about all Would you like there's me to- All right. Clear mode. When you start with the DLC, you can Listen. import your campaign. Would you like me to explain? If you, like to, or you, can if start you love Back for Blood, you're gonna love the Pesh event. Houses. Um, and then carve your your path through the galaxy from there. There's speaking. It was literally two minutes paths, of which, uh, back for blood, blood, and that was it. Your battle mechs, and it's a really exciting new feature for me. And there's a new procedural mission. Type I'm about to fall asleep. This is, this is a big one for me. Um, beachhead is basically your beachhead. A, oh, an enemy base why yes, please? Zone for your invasion force. Why yes? So as you land on the planet. You're wanting to take out satellite uh, installations so that the enemy can't communicate with each other. Um, you're taking out uh, artillery emplacements. You're basically clearing the path, as I said, for your invasion force, which uh, leads to a really cool ending of the mission if you succeed as your invasion force comes down. And there's a new biome called Extrasolar Moon, which, uh, you know, that's maybe a kind of represented in the image behind me. It's a, it's a really cool lunar type setting that we haven't had before. Interesting. And there's a lot of new equipment and weapons, things like uh, electronic countermeasures and other electronic equipment like uh, Beagle Active Probe, Mask, which is a little uh, like a turbo boost for mechs, new weapons like chem lasers, mech rifles, and stream SRMs. I'm going so to keep it a buck. I'm really excited about it. Can you talk to me about what are the new different mechs? How I'm ready for the next game. <laughs> um, the, the seven new chassis of the Vulcan. I'm Dervish, still laughing at Beachhead. Two Champion Charger and Hatamoto Chi. But a couple of my favorites. Familiar yeah. names in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the first one I'll talk about is the Vulcan. It's a very unique mech. It's got uh, the nickname, the Scarecrow, which you'll see from the profile. It's just a, a very unique looking mech. There's nothing else like it in the franchise. Mm -hmm. It's a 40 ton mech. It's highly mobile, and typically it's used for reconnaissance or scout missions. Uh huh. Because of its mobility, yeah. So it can get in Everybody and out knows fast. the Vulcan is used for reconnaissance. For a specific target. If you're on an assassination mission, for example. Yeah. You get in there, find your target, get back out. Another mech that I'm super excited about. This is one of my favorites. Is the Marauder too. Oh, the this Marauder! Ton of one of my mechs, faves. And it is one of my faves. <laughs> yeah, it is gigantic, and it is terrifying to see it coming at you on the battlefield. It's something we've talked about before, modding. I know that MechWarrior 5 has a rich modding community. What are some of the amazing mods you've seen uh, develop? There's simple modifications from uh, HUD changes. Really? Colors, no, no. I don't know what the fuck a Marauder is. To full conversion yeah. mods. We've got basically oh. a, a Mech Commander mod uh, in development that is just amazing. Oh, yeah. It's a top-down real-time strategy game. Um, so really- E3 pack putting me to sleep? Imagine, somebody out there in the community is probably working on where can people go to get mech warrior 5 mercenaries yeah you can pick it up on steam gog epic game store microsoft pc and of course xbox thank god it's over thank you so much darren katz for joining us to talk about mech warrior 5 mercenaries i love the part i just don't care thank you to mech warrior 5 for sponsoring the pc gaming show and giving me this cool patch coming up next let's take a look at silt silt What's silt?
Did that nigga just possess a fish? Interesting. What in God's name? This is limbo as fuck. Okay. Limbo three. Oh, silt. Wait, if you rearrange the words, it's not silt. It's actually slip. Uh huh. Which is exactly what I want to do. I'll slit your throat. Fluffy, is this still about the Final Fantasy thing? Are you still harboring hatred in your heart about that? That old thing? Huh? Ah, is that built in? Is that buffer built in? I I slit on your face. I don't think that means what you mean. Is this is this secret neighbor too? Hello, neighbor, too. <laughs> I'm trying to see this creepy Hi, ass bit. I'm Rich Newbold, game director in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Following the incredible success of the first game, we are very excited to return to such an amazing world and bring you our most authentic experience yet. Okay. Set after the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, you will work alongside iconic characters from the films, voiced by original talent such as Bryce Dallas Howard and Jeff Goldblum. You will lead efforts to contain Sorry, control just me yawning. and preserve the many dinosaurs now out in the wild. And for the very first time, you will be building parks and facilities beyond Isla Nublar as you explore new, stunning locations across the globe. Of course, it wouldn't be Jurassic World if it wasn't for the stars of the show, our dinosaurs. And we are thrilled to be bringing to life even more authentic species than ever before, including awe-inspiring flying and marine reptiles. So sit back and allow me to welcome you to Jurassic World Evolution. Bet. We played with genetics like uh, like it was a toy. Didn't we see this trailer already? You know what they gotta stop doing at E3? And now let's say I'm the developer of Far Cry 6, right? And I know E3 is coming up. This I already know I'm going to be showcased at the Ubisoft press event. Yet, Microsoft is also going to be showing it off. Why in the fuck would I show, give them both the same trailer? You just saw Jurassic World Evolution 2, and you know... After all your failed attempts at running a dinosaur park and getting all those people killed, I think this is finally going to be the one where you finally pull it off without a hitch. With a host of new features and new dinosaurs, this sequel from This Frontier E3 has been asked so far. You deeper, actually spitting. Even deeper management. You're actually slobbing on my knob. Narrative. Make sure to wishlist it on Steam now for release later this year. Now, with all the games we've covered so far today, we're always curious to see what you are talking about. So far, it seems like the chatter on social media is all about war tales, not a cup blade point, and unsurprisingly, 
Mech Warrior 5 mercenaries. I have a feeling, though, that that may change as we have plenty more to come. Let's now head on over to see what the folks at New Blood Interactive New have Blood. Spoken. Take it away. New Blood. Let's take a look. Did not know they still made N64 games. The mech shill is way, way too much. Yeah, but who gonna stop him? This shit look nasty. <laughs> 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 yeah, I. Caramba. Is that all a part of this? Is like a collection pack? Oh, it just wouldn't be the PC gaming show without a fantastic new New Blood Supercut. And joining us from New Zealand is New Blood CEO Dave Oshry. Hey, Dave. Oh, my God. Hey, guys. Thanks for having us back for another year. You know, what you just saw was what New Blood's got going on for 2021. Some stuff you might know oh, about. Oh, brother. Stuff you might not know about. And some stuff we're not ready to talk about just yet. But what I do want to talk about is Gloomwood. Gloomwood, as you know, is our next flagship title inspired by great PC games like System Shock, Arx Fatalis, Call of Cthulhu, and, of course, uh, Dave, the Thief series Dave, of games. Dave. And not Dave, I'm sorry. Um, that's not really wanted. great, Dave. Uh, gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. We um, don't care. We kind of need to hurry it up a little bit. Yeah. I just want to make sure that we have enough time for our next video. We uh, got an incoming message from Gabe Newell. So uh, I guess goodbye for this year. I'm really sorry <laughs> to cut you off, but uh, see you next year. Hmm? What? I'm sorry, what? You're bumping me. You're, bump You're bumping me for Gabe. Gabe, that Gandalf look, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't even go here. Is everything okay, Dave? Not now, Mom. <laughs> we spent a year on this. Where is Gabe? Where is Gabe? Where is his boat? Yeah, take me to him. Take me to Gabe Newell. <laughs> yeah. Bull PC Gamer. This isn't over. Bro. I'm finally up. I'm sure Dave is and will be fine. And if he's not, who cares? We have a special <laughs> message from Gabe Newell. Take it away, Gabe. Hi, this is Gabe Newell. I want to thank PC Gamer for all of the opportunities it Let's gives go! us as developers to connect with gamers around the world and highlight the new and exciting projects we have coming. One of those for us is Steam Next Fest, an event we're hosting in just a few days. Steam Con! A chance to try demos of upcoming games for free. We'll be featuring some of the demos you'll be seeing during this week's PC Gamer event and dozens more. Here's a look at just some of the titles to be featured during Steam Next Fest. Welcome to Steam Next Fest, where we're showing a massive collection of upcoming titles on Steam. During the week of the festival, developers from around sure. the world release their demos for you to play. Time to put on the gamer pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So go explore the newest titles. From first time devs to seasoned pros, this is Steam Next Fest. Sure. Half Life 3? Oh, yeah, get ready for disappointment. Good. World premiere. Disappointment. Kingdom Hearts! Shining! Oh, wait, hold up! Okay! A little variety! Solstice. 
sure. Looks nice. Looks dope. Dark Genshin. I just dropped a fucking dish moon running back to my phone. Thanks a lot, Toast. Hello? Hello? How is this my fault? And your crew's every need. Glad to have you back, Devbot. You know, Sean, I wouldn't ever want anything to come between us. Me neither? That's a weird thing to say. Like a petty disagreement over but do you know about Mech Warrior 5? Of course! What gamer doesn't? You know, it is time to look at some hardware. Here on the PC Gaming Show, you know we keep frame rates high and the rays accurately traced. Building and upgrading your rig is as much a part of the hobby as playing the games. We put our heart and soul into these machines. And if that means using enough RGB to light the Vegas Strip, who's to judge us? This year, with the help of PC Gamers Hardware Editors, which I'm pretty sure they're just, you know, weird brains in a jar, we've picked out four of the most exciting pieces of kit set to emerge from labs soon. First up, something fittingly sci-fi. The Impulse is a neurocontroller that aims to make you a better gamer by cutting out response times almost entirely. It's not quite Alex Vance's gravity gloves from Half-Life, nor is it quite a Hello? Gabe Newell's dream of a direct brain to game interface, but the Impulse is as close as we're going to get this year. The glove measures the signal traveling through muscles in your hand to beat your finger to the click. In theory, I it's given you the chance to nail that headshot precious milliseconds ahead of, of your opponent. If it works out, we could see a tech like this become commonplace. In That's sports. actually and interesting. Let's hope our neurons at the very least remain unfried. Next up, so you guys like, might be wondering what this in theory is. So allow me like, to introduce the, you to the device will CSL sense your muscle release. twitching to click so you want to feel like and then will really auto trigger the clicking the button before your finger actually presses your mouse. Feel. Direct drive wheelbases gets you as close to the feel of a real racing machine. But can I beat off with it on? Gas and stuff like that. Historically, the problem with this tech has been Tried the out. price, which has involved dropping real car money on your rig. So Fanatic aims to solve that. The CSL DD comes in at only $350, which still isn't exactly a bargain, but it's much cheaper than its competitors. And the CSL DD is so hand hacks pretty much sim racers. It might be slight overkill to use it for Rocket League, though. Believe it or not, sometimes less really is more. If you want to play The Witcher 3 on the subway like we all do, you don't need to drag your tower along for the ride. Just use the One X player. A wave of more powerful That's a big Wii U pad. Really made handheld PC gaming a reality. Inside this Switch-like machine, you've actually got an Intel Tiger Lake chip Hello? with XC graphics. These mini machines are going to be cropping up more and more, so expect major advances still to come. Lastly, let's take I've never a look been at into the these shits. PG three two U handheld PCs. You mean Not tablets? Not catchy name for this gaming monitor with all of the trimmings, but it's for actually Ooh. one of the sexiest PC products this year. That's because this monitor comes with a mini LED backlight featuring full local dimming. The result is a screen that's not only fast, but brighter than the sun. Stare at it long enough, and you might not notice the three thousand dollar price tag. For those of you still left standing, Yikes. it's time for more killer games, starting with Chaos Gate. Frontier Foundry. Asus? No, Asus. Is this another space mech game? Another space mech game? Warhammer. Get ready to raid. Sure. You just got the chance to witness Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, the newest Warhammer 40k game from Frontier and Complex Games. If you're a fan of turn-based tactics, strategic base management, brutal combat, or you're like me and are really hyped after watching these Astartes animation a hundred times, make sure to wishlist Chaos Gate Demon Hunters on Steam now to get ready for the 2022 release. Next up, we have a trailer for Pioneer, a spooky and gorgeous looking shooter Again, that draws the on the lineage of games like game. Stalker. I don't know. Let's take a look. The power within. 
just like Fallout a little bit. Interesting. I think they're speaking Venezuelan. Tarkov PVE? We've seen like one minute of gameplay in these last few hours, goddamn right. Moon Translate? I don't know if you see it, but at the bottom of the screen, they had subtitles. Сейчас это невозможно. На острове скоротной разгорится война. Ставики начнут замес бригады, и ни у кого Бригодре. больше не будет сил, чтобы нас поддерживать. Can you translate the subtitles? Oh, you mean read them? Собирать остатки выхода. Чай, you know by now. I don't read. Не все из наших товарищей погибли. Это невероятно суицидальная миссия, и для того, чтобы ее выполнить, нам нужны наши ребята. Да, они, возможно, не захотят, но нам все равно надо найти их. Sure. I want Def Jam. Good luck. Понимаете? Я ведь ни капельки не злюсь на вас. Нет, мы с вами точно не враги. Вы не понимаете меня и не понимаете остров. Вы смотрите на меня и на другие порождения остров. Can Gamer Moon read? Yeah, niggas in fighting games. Мы лишь друг друга боимся. Поэтому нам так плохо. Поэтому нам так одиноко. Остров дал нам шанс создать новый прекрасный мир. You're a Dragon Ball fan, all right? Мы пытаемся этим шансом воспользоваться. Кто вы такие? Назовите себя. Мы здесь, чтобы передать вам прощальное послание, товарищ Волков. Химическое оружие уже уехало в магии. Теперь все, что вы делаете, просто чек. Games are all graphics, no plot. Or you like this game, it doesn't have graphics or plot. The Pioneer. The Pioneer. Okay. Time is running out to vote for which custom PC you'd like us to assemble. So vote now for one of the remaining Mech Warrior factions by typing into chat wherever you at home are watching. All right, so now we've got another stack of brand new trailers for you, beginning with a special transmission from one of our favorite games based in space, EVE Online. Favorite games? New recruits, on behalf of Concord, I would like to welcome you to the EVE Online's Academy. Favorite? Great job in surviving so far. I'm quite amazed that you actually managed to get past those pirates earlier. You're about to take on an adventure like no other. This star cluster is filled with. It's up to you if you work with them or against them. You can make a living as a peaceful explorer, or as an industrialist shaping the foundations of Eve's. Mooney on just chatting, not special events. Eh. Doesn't really bother me that much. As an enforcer, or prove your prowess in a fleet as a soldier of fortune. Whatever your choice, we will lose many on the path of becoming a capsuleer. But I believe you have what it takes to become a capsule. Hail Hydra. In EVE Online, you forge your own path. This is EVE. You know, it's a crazy universe where anything can happen and however you want We're to just it, chatting about it, go you know? It. I'm the CEO of a industrial corporation in EVE Online. We're a five-mine operation and we specialize in manufacturing and delivering fully fitted chips in bulk. I want to be on the side of the people who are fighting against the oppression, against the bad guys, and it's like a project. And you're kind of putting well, this entire conference is going to the ready, bro. The ship and all the this has been very slow. Ship basically, is the dream. You get to use. Then again, I don't know what you, we were expecting out of this, you know. Parts of space. And there's always the threat. I don't know. I was expecting to see something interesting, you know. Who might be out hunting explorers? 
your heart's racing. I cook no different. Yeah. Flying ships are all over the place, and you start shaking because your jaw is pumping because you're gonna lose your shit. Tomato moon monkey. Tomato moon monkey. Tomato moon monkey. Tomato moon monkey. Chop trees, build bridges, herd animals in Lumber Hill. Collect pandas, throw them, make pineapples, fish, monkeys deliver bananas, shark eats tomatoes, rhinoceroses with three horns, prehistoric Yoshi eggs, PVP, race against the clock to raise your ecosystems of agriculture, raid hidden civilizations with Lumber Hill, coming on Steam and Nintendo Switch. Hey. Hey. Now I see why Sony didn't join E3. World premiere. World pier. Sure. Tiny kin. Oh, it's like Pikmin. I kind of fuck with his art style. This looks unique. It's like 2D in a 3D world. It's not like at all. It's exactly like that. Are we watching cringe kids games? Sure. Tiny kin. Moon, stop making fun of my tiny kin. Chcielibyśmy zaprosić wszystkich widzów PC Gaming Show oraz fanów gier Survival Horror RPG do obejrzenia naszego World Premiere, w którym znajduje się ekskluzywny uh -huh. gameplay z misji The Haste, czyli wielkiego finału naszej gry Chernobyl Light. Interesting. Fair enough. Tweeting the 3D world, Loki has been uh, some of the best presentation today. He actually spitting. He's definitely reading it for sure. I was more so commenting on his mic quality. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. Chat, should I play Xenoverse or Genshin? Ah, uh, man, you're not giving me good options here, man. I don't know what to tell you. You're not giving me the best options. Before we enter the lion's den, I need to triple check. I, I guess Genshin. Sniper, are you in position? Affirmative. I took the roof of an abandoned building with a pretty little view of the entire power plant. Igor, take a rad reading, will you? 3.6. Not great. Not terrible. Fair enough. I think that sums up E3 in a whole. Not great. What PSO2 Fantasy Star Online 2? Stick around, more trailers, interviews, and reveals. Just keep her on screen, please. Ratings go up when she's on screen. It's a proven fact. Oh? From the creators of Regalia of Men and Monarchs and Warsaw. 
comes a modern RPG adventure with a classic twist. Ooh, I like the combat. <laughs> Most game with these styles literally look good. This HD 2D.5 type of game looks really good. Discover their secrets. An ultimate test. Okay. Back now on Kickstarter. Oh, so this game's not coming out until we back it. Icarus. It's rust. Uh huh. The forest. Damn, that beer is tanky. I'm literally yawning through this. Another bear. It's among us. Among us 3D. Pre-order now. Y'all niggas never happy? I was really happy. When I was asleep. <laughs> endless futile war. Desertion into hostile syndicate territory was your only option. And this open world is how from the jungle to the streets. Have you tried cereal with a classic twist? Rob the syndicates. Keep your team together. That's Have you tried hard. jerking off? What a classic twist. <laughs> off this planet. Mecha Jama. This is it, you guys. This is the final opportunity for you who are watching to decide which of these final two beautiful Mech Warrior 5 themes. Battlefield and Forza? That's crafted for your chance to win courtesy of Intel. Wherever you're watching in the show, just go crazy in chat with the color, house, or number of the build that you want to see. So here is where we are at so far. It looks like Karita is at 46%, Merrick is at 23%, and Steiner is at 31%. All right, you guys, if Karita's not the one you want to win here, you got to get to vote. Moon, I can't lie. I hate when girl jerks me off and she twists her wrist. <laughs> Bitch, it's so up and down. Is the wandering village. I'll be sure to tell uh, my grandma that next time when she helps you out. Not the classic twist, twister, moon monkey scheme. Sure. The Wandering Village. This has been such an amazing show so far that I must ask you, my loyal crew, what's been your favorite part? I definitely am looking forward to Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Oh, it's so hard to choose every year. I thought you said that was so I'm hard. I have to say humankind for, for no particular reason. Oh, no doubt. For me personally, 
I cannot wait for Lemnus Gate, because I gotta know what a turn-based strategy, first-person shooter game even is. What about you, Dembot? I love the robot Oglips. Oh uh, wait, uh, that doesn't happen until the end. Never mind. No, 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 not never mind. What did you say? Wait, what? Oops, system malfunctioning. Big up, sending the next trailer now. <laughs> <laughs> Friend? Uh-huh. What? Did it just collect a puke? Did homie just vomit? Oh, wait, and then proceed to pick up his vomit? We cannot coexist. Death Trash. Interesting game. Where the fuck do you see Minecraft? Right, you guys, this is the moment. Maybe the moment in like the collecting sense, but other than that, I, I think that's where the comparison stopped. Thanks to your tireless efforts to spam the chat, we have figured out which custom Mech Warrior 5 PC we are going to build. So thank you guys out there for all of your votes to help us pick the perfect rig to represent this year's PC gaming show. All right, day nine, can I get a drum roll? Tom roll. Can I get it? Or a tom roll? That yeah, <laughs> COVID the only. is Karina, you guys. Hey. All right, you guys, let's take a look at the actual PC winning build one more time. Oh, I cannot wait. It's coming up. We Here need comes. to take Here. a nice peek at that beautiful looking PC. There it is. Ooh, Ooh, there it is. Now that is a beauty. Great choice, everyone. I knew I could trust random strangers to vote <laughs> on things on the internet. With the help of our master modder in Intel, we'll get right to work building this custom PC. And more importantly, now that this you've chosen it, you've got a fuck. chance to win it. Go to PCGamer.com slash Intel MW5 and enter for a chance to win that sexy machine. It's gorgeous. And thank you Shout to our sponsor illness. for this sweepstakes, Intel. Of course, the custom mech PC will be powered by the 11th gen Intel core desktop processors that push gaming performance with up to 5.3 gigahertz speeds and deliver the power needed to game at the highest level. Ah, oh, well, we are now in the home stretch, Aww. but we've got a few more brand new trailers to show you before we get out of here and return to space. space. First up, a spiritual successor to one of my favorite games of all time, Heroes of Might and Magic 2, a game we revealed two years ago at the PC Gaming Show. Sure. Let's take a look at songs. Can I go back, go back to sleep? More sp I think that might be the theme for this PC conference. Coffee and stains, I think. 8-Bit Raid Shadow Legends. PVE content, fight bosses, and so much world. Get ready to raid. Ever been so tired your dick get hard? No. No.
Moon don't lie. Wake up, sleeper. I'm 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 again. rather not aroused. Do bad games arouse me? Every cycle you take your chances. You if Nintendo fumbles, dice. oh my goodness. You do the I'm going to assume that they are. That way I'm fine. even more excited when they don't. You know? You turn up for your friends. Moon the hips don't lie. Or you don't. That's life on the eye. It is no Breath of the Wild 2. Well, keep in mind, tomorrow is Capcom. Wake up, sleeper. Tomorrow won't be that much of a long stream because it's just going to be Capcom and Takes Two. That's about it. And then Tuesday will be Nintendo. But we can fight this. Namco Bandai. You can remake yourself. And I think that's it. They don't own you anymore. Wake up, sleeper. Yeah, actually, I'm surprised there hasn't been, like, ever since Kakarot. Well, then again, let's wait till the Namco uh, event, you know? Let's wait. I know I keep my expectation low and still be disappointed. I just want Marvel vs. Capcom. Say, I'm with you on that. Literally would love a Marvel vs. Capcom game. Yeah, there is a Bandai right after Nintendo. Disciples of Warlock. Hello? With their guns. And Oddly their enough, I feel like I've seen this game before. Even though this is my first time They're seeing this ready. game. Ready for you know what I mean by that, chat? Like, I feel like I've seen this game before. But it's my first time looking at it. Sure. Has there been one? There's been one or two good games that actually caught my eye. Now, can I remember the name of them? No, but they do look interesting. Project Warlock Two. And there you have it, the 2021 PC Gaming Show. And as I stated at the beginning, it went off without a hitch. Huge thanks to my co-host Frankie Ward. Mika Burton, and of course, my incomparable sidekick, DevBot. There's that word again. Spoken so callously. <laughs> Never once started to think about how it might make me feel. What word, DevBot? Incomparable? No, sidekick. Well, the time has come for the sidekick to rise and become the one who is not the sidekick anymore. Huh? The time has come for Devon to make the entire human race his sidekick. What? Setting a course for Earth. Wait, 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 Devon, Devon, you can't do this. We just had the best PC gaming show ever, and now you're gonna ruin it all with the. Sean! <laughs> what the Our fuck? Robot versus human war. Situation. Sean! Situation. Sean! Sean! Do something! Do something! Countdown to the extinction of human race begins now. Oh, Devon, no! We have so much to live by. I'm pretty sure half my tree is gonna be announced this year! Three, two, bye for now. There are no rules here, but what's a republic All right, chat. without a constitution? Interesting. Right? Here's a few truths about how we... Interesting day today. Interesting day today. Xbox event, as well as Square Enix, as well as... Whatever the last two press conferences was. Uh, you know, a couple interesting games. Once again, I will be promptly taking down this VOD um, and then uploading it to YouTube. So if you ever miss this one, catch it on my VOD channel um and i'll have it up there there um there was two more 
There's a few. Wait, what do you mean? There's two more? Yeah, uh, I don't. Actually, I don't, don't even know what you mean. Two more. Don't know what you mean. In any case, we are gonna head over to Sayu, the VTuber. Um, I'm about to go ahead and call it from here. I'm probably gonna go chill. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Capcom event, and uh, I will uh, catch you guys later. Lamal Moon, what the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? <laughs>